Hand me my hat, Finley! I'm going in! Right, so we've got two new heroes that are both filling in the Death Knight class. Neither one of them are Arthas, but they, they both are Death Knights, technically. The first one uh -huh. is a Scarlet Leaf Dancer. And I'm not and sure that's if right this is a character that's that... That's her right here. That's her right there. We got her on, on screen now. And I'm not entirely sure if she is a existing character within Hearthstone, uh, but she's got three very interesting hero powers. The... Uh, the first one is a two mana power that is called Blood Parasite, and that's going to summon a two one blood worm with a life steal, um, which is a nice baseline healing. Mm -hmm. The second power is a one mana power that's called Hematology, and this one you're going to spend up to three corpses for each one, reduce the cost of a card in your hand by one. Um, and then the final one is a two mana hero power called Scourging, where you're going to discover an undead. No, it's not an undead minion, it's just an undead. I enjoy that the, they're just saying, hey, they're just undead at this point. Um, you yeah, what, what are your reactions? You discover Murloc, right? You don't say discover <laughs> Murloc minion. I guess that's true. Pirate. I, I guess that's true. But I don't know, it sounds funny. When I read it, I, I, I think undead is, is a interesting. It, it feels more like a descriptor than a, a yes, type. But I that know. makes sense. Anyways, yeah, so, wait, what are your thoughts on these? So first off, when I see Blood Parasite, I think... Finley's 2-2 hero power. I wonder how this mm. matches up to that, because the 2-2 hero power basically never ever gets used. Sure. I've seen it on extremely rare occasions, sometimes. But, so, yeah, yeah the, I mean, the lifesteal makes it a different beast, though, right? If you're up against face decks, like, they are really incentivized to kill these guys. They have to. Or you'll just heal. Yeah. But it, it does not impress me very much right now. The zero power. Yeah, it's slow. It's slow. No but initiative. I like that it's not something abusable. Everything that they you introduced know of, yeah. that is not abusable. Good. <laughs> well done. You learned from the past. Uh, there's a couple that are abusable too, still, I think. Uh, we'll get there, but yeah. so I don't think this is one of them. <laughs> no. Hematology so, is yeah. interesting, though. The the mana reduction. Mana reduction is always strong, and it reminds me a little bit of the uh, Vandar hero power that was so busted. Um, I don't know. It depends on how many corpses you're going to have. Yeah, it, 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 everything... Regarding the cops mechanic is difficult to judge, especially like um, this one, uh, you don't have the hero power that already gives you corpses, right? So it's a bit more difficult to get corpses than say in standard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess it's really, I, the effect sounds incredibly strong, incredibly strong, but like the cost of corpses it's a resource right yeah how do you how difficult is it to get them that's the question and i'm not i don't know the answer yet if you if it's really like if you have burn decks or something combo decks that really want to use this cost reduction just to blow someone up for example you're probably mm -hmm. not gonna have a lot of corpses it's gonna i guess that's true so it's probably not as easy to use as it seems. Also, if you're like a big minion deck, you're also gonna get fewer corpses. So what is this best used in? Like, it's not obvious in my opinion. Mm. That's but it fair. Sounds good. I guess it sounds good. I mean, one, spend one mana, save three mana. That's always useful at some point there's there, 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 people figure yeah. out an application for it it's just not obvious uh, immediately mm -hmm. but I, I i guarantee you someone will use that to great and use eventually. someone will break it probably in yeah. some way yeah. but i don't know yet how yet essentially <laughs> yeah and then scourging i mean discover an undead there, there's a lot of discoverers out there that that could totally be fine right uh that, that that's just good resource generation and yeah it's fine i don't I'd think it's say... like it's not flashy it's something that's fun to me. I love discovering, so I love this hero power. But mm -hmm. I think this is a really weak one. Like, if you look at Bubble Blower, it's just cheaper. Yeah. Like, of course, it's yeah. difficult to judge. 
because we had just haven't had undead yet. Maybe the undead quality on average is really high. Could be. Maybe. But think about, like, if you're just thinking of it as far as quality goes, look at Brand's hero power to yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, discover a card from your deck, and that yeah, those are all going to be better really quality stronger. than random. Yeah. You're absolutely right. You can get treasures with that and stuff. So, yeah. So this seems uh, this is a bit on the weak side. Yeah. But I guess, yeah, like you're saying, in context, we'll we'll see. She also has, uh, you know, just like every other hero, uh, she's got six uh, signature treasures. And some of these are freaking awesome. If you haven't watched everyone, if you haven't watched Regis's uh, reveal video, you should totally go check it out. Because he he highlights all the art on these. And the art is very, 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 very cool. Yeah. Um, I I haven't seen it. This first one on screen, the Ruined Soul Blade. That one's awesome. Mm -hmm. Like, look at the owl. It's so powerful and hot, it melts the snow around it. I I like that. That's cool. That's nice. Yeah, there's a story to be told in the the image. And so, Rune Soul Blade, the first one, is a weapon. It's a four-mana weapon with three attack and four durability. And its card text reads, After your hero takes damage, deal one damage to all enemies and lose one durability. Mm -hmm. That's That's interesting. That's a lot of AoE in one card. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just enemies. I don't know if I've ever seen a whirlwind effect like this be especially powerful when it's against only enemies. You usually want to be doing some damage to your own characters, right? Your own board. That's no? a minion that does it has exactly this effect, except for the durability. Yeah. That no one oh, that, that ever has used. been released. Oh, it's yeah. Old. What was it? What it's was a it? demon hunter minion. Is it the 2-6 that taunt that every yeah. time it gets some damage? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I don't know. And, like, you also are incentivized not to swing with the weapon, right? I mean, it's Raph got spike 12 root. attack. So, I don't know. I, uh, Rune Soul Blade seems niche to me at most. And let, it, it seems like a really strong way to deal with, you know, token boards or something. But I, yeah. I, I don't know. We'll see. I'm curious like, about it. Just imagine you have a pretty wide board of a few dudes. Like you have four, four treants mm-hmm. and uh, a squirrel sitting there or something, and the opponent just plays the soul blade and holds it. Like, what do you do? Mm. Sure, but that's like the one case. Like that's the mm-hmm. uh, uh, say say you got a bunch of big cards, or say you're you know spell reno yeah. or something like that, or, or spell elise. Like this doesn't do anything to you. You're you're you don't care. That does 12 damage right. to you. Oh, sure. Over four turns. Unless you just moonfire them in the face and it just does uh, six damage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Once That's, and then yeah. Blowing. Okay, so yeah. This is very situational. Very. Yeah. It, it does pop all Divine Shields too, though. So that, I don't know if that's relevant or not, but something mm. to think about. Okay, the next card, the next signature treasure for Scarlet Leaf Dancer is a three mana spell called Scourge Strike. And this is another one where we just called out the art specifically. It's pretty cool. There's like a Scarlet's back behind yeah. three ghouls and she's chopping all three of them in half at once. It's pretty, pretty intense. <laughs> it says gain one corpse, destroy one enemy minion and draw one card improves during the run. That's good. That's a good card. Right? Yeah, like looking at those improving treasures... Over the run, like this one's really good, really strong. I compare like, if you just compare it to the one I like using recently, just because it's just because I like it. The Awakened Ancient, mm-hmm. like, holy crap, is this better! Like, so much better. Yeah, it is. Board seems clear incredibly and strong. And then you combine it with her, the what was the one mana hero power called again? Hematology. And so you draw all these cards, and then you got a bunch of corpses, and you reduce the power of a ton, uh, reduce the, cost, the, yeah. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, mana yeah. cost of a bunch of them. Yeah, that's 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 really cool. So even without the corpse part, like, this is just good. Uh, even baseline, it's just a unupgraded and ignoring the corpse is still a deadly shot that draws a card. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like. This is so impressive. This is going to be like a nightmare in yeah. late in end game uh, situations when yeah. you're up against this hero and you, you're sitting there like, oh god, I hope they didn't pick Scourge Strike because it, 
They are gonna kill my entire board and draw seven cards. That's exactly what'll happen. And then they're gonna reduce the cost of those seven cards. <laughs> it's gonna. I think that this will be the default one that is just sort of easy to to use and slot into a bunch of decks. The yeah, other ones are all more conditional. This is definitely it's it's just so generally good. There's basically no reason not to run this. <laughs> Oh, upgraded we'll once. Read the next card. Was... Yeah, next card. Upgrade one. Upgrade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And I was just saying, upgraded once, and it's at worst an arcane intellect. Right? Like, arcane intellect that destroys two cards. Like yeah, yeah. Like, even if your opponent doesn't have minions, is what I'm trying to say. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, crimson. Is this an angry chicken? <laughs> angry as chicken, it's an eagle or a vulture or something. No, no it's <laughs> just a one mana one one beast. It's clearly a chicken. So whenever a hero is healed, this minion gains that much attack and health. So yeah, it's, does this go with the blood worm or whatever it's called? Let's have a look. Blood parasite, blood. but it summons a blood worm. Okay, with the blood worm hero power, mm -hmm. that grows crimson, but only if you've taken damage. Mm hmm. You have to have taken damage, and this thing has to live, and you have to be ready to heal. So you, you want to already have one of those yeah. bloodworms down, and then play Crimson, and then attack with the bloodworm. Or whatever other healing yeah. moment you're going to do. So uh, this is clearly a guy that wants to be in a blood rune deck, right? Like, mm -hmm. the other archetypes don't make sense for Crimson. They don't mm -hmm. really have that much healing. While right. in blood, you can get a taller healing for relatively cheap. I don't mm -hmm. think this grows when you increase your max health, right? Because that's not the same as healing. Right. So this probably doesn't work with this one spell that increases your max health by up to 10. Mm -hmm. So, uh... It's, it's difficult... to see... Yeah. how this could be bad? Like, it's a 1 mana 1 1 that can turn enormous immediately. You can just. There's this 4 mana. What is it called? This 4 mana spell with 6 damage lifesteal. If you just turn 5 and you play Crimson and that, and you have a 1 mana 7 7. Yeah, you're Potentially. right. Potentially. Yeah. But you need to take damage first, so the, it's a bit situational. Yeah, you gotta take damage, and then like it doesn't have rush or charge or anything, so you can't use yeah. it right away. And there's so much removal in duels that um, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Uh, but it's cool, and I like that it's a. I like the one mana one one that can grow. That's a really interesting mechanic that I think it hasn't been explored mm -hmm. quite enough in Hearthstone. So yeah, and it Great. gets around one of my pet peeves, which is low cost, tempo-y treasures. If you draw them early, you just run away with the game. Mm. This is a problem mm. we've had. And this guy can't do that. He has more sure. more prerequisites. You can't just drop this and win. So, yeah. Uh, you haven't taken enough damage it. early. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. For it to get too because... big. And then also, you got to wait a turn. Yeah. Like, uh, remember the Track Tamer? Is it Track Tamer? That used to be track 2 mana, 2-5. Yeah, if, that, you, if yeah. that came down on two, and maybe you had a coin hero power, it would just run away with the game. People couldn't deal mm -hmm. with that tempo. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. now Brit's Blaze Bucket is another one that sometimes right. does this, just fills the board mm -hmm. immediately. Mm -hmm. But this one is fine. This will not do that. It could get big, but it's still just one dude you can kill. Yes. And you need. And if you are worried about it getting big, just don't damage the enemy, and they can't heal. <laughs> and then you kill true. the wood, just... and then you kill the chicken. Yeah, you kill the and chicken, then you, and then you attack their face. But yeah. it also is an undead, so there is some potential with uh, reviving this, right? There are plenty mm. of some cards out there that could revive Crimson. Mm -hmm. But then again, it comes back as a one-one, so once again, it has to grow. But yeah. there's maybe some shenanigans that can be done with undead reviving here. Okay. 
Looking forward to it. Just as a spoiler to, uh, not really a spoiler, but for everyone's information, I have not looked at any of the new cards. Um, so if Croak is referencing other new March of the Lich King cards, um, I don't know what they are yet. We're, you're going to get a fresh reaction from me later Ooh, on. Yeah, um, right, that's true. So, so d d don't don't worry about spoiling or whatever. You that's talk about so cool. I'm so happy for <laughs> but you I, that you get this uh, spoiler-free wheel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it'll be it'll be exciting. It'll be a, it's 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 a huge dump of info that I'm I'm going to be going through here today. It's a uh, very exciting. Uh, the next. Uh, signature treasure for Scarlet Leaf Dancer is um, another weapon. She's got three weapons, which is kind of interesting. I guess she's mm. got a sword in the picture, so it makes sense. Um, uh, but this one's a three mana, three two weapon. It's called the Iron Weave Blood Letter, and its battle cry reads: "For the rest of game, uh, for for the rest of the game, <laughs> whenever you consume one or more corpses, restore two health to your hero." Yeah, that's neat. That, that that you know obviously that aligns with the hematology power also yeah. and uh helps you go late yeah just healing 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 but but yeah this is not something you can rely on right there are there yeah. is a there is a death knight spell that tutors for a weapon oh there is so but of course you can just run one of those and i don't know if there's any other way. There's no other ways to find weapon tutors, though. So... Well, I mean, I guess in duels you can get Pillage the Fallen or something, you know. But, yeah. Yeah, Arm Gods. But Arm this guards, is uh, not something you can rely on. Right? No. It's an... So this would... All... So... Also, the healing is probably something that Blood Death Knights want. But the corpses consume thing is more of an unholy thing so i'm mm. not sure where this would go like effect is good mm -hmm. but i don't know how i'd build a deck with this mm. especially if i can't say ha huh, i'll always have this effect <laughs> this is just a bonus that you'll pick up sometimes right? mm. Yeah, you're right. I, that, that, I guess like it's amazing if you drop it on three and then you yeah. just are healing the whole game, but that's not likely to happen, especially later in runs. But like this has a bit of the um, pickaxe vibes. Mm -hmm. If you draw it mm -hmm. at too late, it's, it's not that good anymore. Because you know, well, oh, maybe maybe it is the thing... I mean, it could also come in as a late savior, right? You draw this late and you're like, oh nice, now I can start healing. Recover, I guess. It's it's not quite like pickaxe is worse. Okay. <laughs> pickaxe is definitely worse. Because you draw a pickaxe on turn God. nine, it's worthless. God stupid pickaxe, I hate it. <laughs> Side note. Okay. So blood ladder, I don't know about this thing. The effect is good, but I don't th I think there's so many circumstances where this is not that great. Yeah. That I'm not sold. Okay. okay. Move on. What about the next one? Great sword of the Ebon Blade. So this is um Sword of Justice. Kinda. Well. Wow. Three mana one five. Whenever you play as a weapon again. She has many weapons. Whenever you play a minion, give it reborn and this loses one durability. Okay. It's a, a mummy magic on a stick, kinda. Yeah, like that makes you wonder is got something gonna happen to mummy magic? Because you would want to put this in a death rattle deck, right? But if you already yeah. have mummy magic it becomes pointless. I don't think they would uh, design a card like that, right? They would keep that in mind. So does something happen to Mummy Magic in the patch notes? That would be nice. That would be nice. It's the most common. It's got to be the most common tier two passive right now. Definitely so most consistent and right. one of the best ones. And I yeah. welcome a change. So, so I see this as a teaser. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I hope I hope you're right. Um, because, and if it yeah, happens. And we get lose that as a death rattle person, and this is a really good card, in my opinion. For any death yeah. rattle decks. But if it doesn't, then this card is trash. <laughs> because and, and we can target uh, it, it doesn't so, yeah, do anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. interesting. And the Final last one. card. I love this one. This one's really cool, especially for the application that Regis mentioned in the in the video. It's a two mana spell called Contagion Concoction. And it reads, infect a minion with death rattle, deal three damage to your hero, then infect a neighbor. 
Mm -hmm. So this is anti gray bow tech. This yes. is anti reborn summoning tech. This is anti uh, Korak the Ravager or whatever his name is. The Blood uh, Rager. The Blood Rager. There it is. Uh, uh, tech. This, this is this is cool. I love 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 this card. It feels like it's specifically targeting some of the most toxic behavior, which I personally have engaged in in the duels meta oh, right now, okay. and so. Well, just just gray bow, death rattle, reborn nonsense because that's what's powerful right now, and it's fun to to play sometimes. And this, yeah, this okay. cancels that. I didn't really hardcore. think about that. I was just thinking about, I, don't know, I build a board and then someone puts out this concoction and plays a spammy, and I take twenty damage. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, the way you you phrase this, like this is a counter to some really annoying stuff. Then yeah, okay, that's good. Then yeah. again, there's been a this... number of scenarios. Yeah. Where you have like eight great or seven yeah. gray bows up, and they all have reborn, and you're just like, I can't, I can't do anything with this. This is trash, right? So, but this with this uh, teaser on, maybe we don't have to worry about that that much anymore in the future. If Defrahol right. gets gets enough hammer, we will see. Right. So that was but all I, I of the yeah. Scarlet stuff. I love the this thing is so cool because there aren't very many spells. I can't think of another one honestly that can give an opponent's minion a death rattle. And like I don't know, it's it's like almost a buff spell that you target your opponents yeah. with. It's very interesting. I I, I... there are I, I... yeah, there's maybe one I can think of, but I'm not even sure if it can target enemies. Yeah, so there are some, but they are not intended to target enemies, right? Like Grave Rune, for example. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is this also uh, the the hidden tech for? I mean, I, obviously, it's not a it's a warlock card. It's not a death knight card. But uh, somehow, you get treachery involved in this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know yeah. how it works, but that's my they dream, right? Give there. the enemy grim patron or something. And <laughs> play defile. <laughs> but yeah, that's all warlock stuff. It's not gonna work, but it's fun to think about. Okay, so that yeah. that's all the scarlet stuff, right? Yeah. And the yeah, second why don't you guy, do Sai? Yeah. Yeah, you read Sai. I did the other one. You read this one. The other guy is I don't know his name. And <laughs> it's uh, Sai Shadestorm. Sai Shadestorm. And he has first of Ghoul Blitz, which is just the an upgraded Death Knight Hero Power. It summons a 1 1 Ghoul with Charge and Reborn and dies at the end of your turn. Now my question is if it doesn't die, if you don't charge it into anything and it dies. Does the reborn ghoul then also die next turn again, or will that one stick around? Oh. I don't know. Well, it's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to test that out. It's not a huge deal, but it would be nice to know. So this is just a mega corpse generator, and, and it's very it's similar to the um, to the the, 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 the Stellina Illidari hero power in a in a way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, except for it has one word on there that I am freaking out about. And that charge. one word is charge. <laughs> yeah. What's, what's, do you wonder, uh, what's, what's the, the minion that gives adjacent minions wind fury? Battleground Battlemaster. Battlegrounds Battlemaster. There we go. Battlegrounds Battlemaster is a five mana card, right? Yeah. And so this six plus that is, oh, it's six mana. Okay. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's better. Okay. So, so ghoul blitz plus that is eight mana. And I don't think there's a two mana buff spell that can do anything crazy. I was thinking but like that's Royal already... Gift. Uh... What were you saying? No, no, I'm mistaken. I'm mistaken. Yeah. I thought something incorrect. Well, if you're playing against someone who's playing as Psy Shadestorm and they have this Ghoul Blitz hero power and they drop Battlegrounds Battlemaster, that is your number one target. You have got mm -hmm. to get that thing off of the yeah. board because they're going to drop a ghoul the next turn and they're going to do like Royal Gift or something on it and you're going to get pounded in the face for like 30. Could you take over the rest of this hero power discussion for a moment? I need to get something done. Uh, <laughs> sure, I'll, I'll, I'll be back I'll, shortly. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'll keep talking. No, that's fine. Uh, I'm 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 guest starring on uh, on on Croak's feed for a moment here. Yeah. So Sai Shadestorm, this Ghoul Blitz thing with charge is absolutely insane. It's just burst damage. I was nervous that they were going to put in the Death Knight Hero power 
without any updates or without any changes as written. Um, because instead of rush, the charge thing is really, really quite terrifying. The second hero power is a two mana uh, hero power called Gathering Storm. And this one reads gain a corpse and draw a card. Um, so this is this is another this is similar to Warlock kind of uh, where you're just gonna be drawn through your deck and and getting resources. This this is a nice um, generic one that'll that'll uh, go out and provide you with tempo to to get through the the game. And then the final one, a uh, one mana hero power, Lichborn Might. This one reads: Give a friendly minion plus three plus three, and it it dies at the end of your turn. Surprisingly, it doesn't die horribly. You see, um, the what is it, power overwhelming or over whatever that one mana of plus four plus four power from uh, from Warlock. That spell reads: uh, It dies at the end of your turn horribly. And luckily, those don't exist for Ghoul Blitz because you know if you had that, I'm, I'm just gonna think here for a minute. Let's 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 think about different buff spells that can go onto a ghoul. We, we, we got, I don't know, power overwhelming isn't really a, a concern because it's uh, it's obviously a warlock card. But what about uh, Hilt of Queldalar? That could be fun. That's a one mana plus three plus three. So we put plus three plus three on a one one. That's four four. And that can drop down with Battlemaster in one turn. So that's, you know... Eight damage from hand. It's a nine mana combo. Nine mana combo that will give you eight damage plus whatever. If you have another minion on board, whatever wind fury that that gets from the battle master. Yeah. Um. Oh, you're back. What did I miss? Uh, I'm, uh, I I just read through the 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 powers and I'm just sort of theory crafting in my brain different buff spells that we can drop on the ghouls with Battlemaster. I got I got Hilt of Queldalar, you know, a one mana three three. So that'll give you a four four for three mana with mm -hmm. charge plus Battlemaster is nine mana total. And so you'll have a four four with charge and wind fury. That's eight damage plus whatever if you have another minion on the board already, whatever wind fury damage that's got. Um, so that's a nine mana combo that can pump out some serious, serious board pressure if you're playing as Psy. Um, there's got to be a better one. I was thinking, like, uh, uh, Power Overwhelming, is that is that the one the card for Warlock that's the mm -hmm. one mana plus four plus four, and then it yeah. dies at the end of your turn horribly? Apparently, mm -hmm. apparently Lichborn Might doesn't, you know, kill the minions horribly, which is, you know, whatever. <laughs> Wherever yeah. that is on flavor. <laughs> Uh, but I don't know. Is there another? I, I, I thought Royal Gift was going to be the most dangerous one, probably on the the Ghoul Blitz. Is there another card that you think could be a, a strong candidate for making me want to delete my game <sighs> if I'm on the other end of receiving this? Well, I can't really think of anything glaring right now. No. Yeah. I mean, charge I know, I is always this... scary. Like if but if something says charge, but I, I th this is always just the one one. Like it's not like the warrior charge spell. Like that's the one I'm worried about the most, and it's mm. just a bit broken. So yeah. I'm not too worried about this. Okay, okay, I, 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 okay. I'll trust you. I do just remember like. <laughs> Back when Ben Brode still was the game director, he said that the one card that they regretted printing and that they always said was preventing them pr from making, you know, cool new combos was Stone Tusk Boar. <laughs> um, and this is pretty darn close to that. And so I don't, I don't know how it's going to work, but I do but, feel like it is going to be a problem in the future. Well. And, uh, uh, Good news is Stone Tusk Ball is available in duels and it's even in buckets. So uh, I guess it's true. Uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe it's not as big. Maybe of a we'll problem, be fine. Maybe. We'll be fine. Maybe we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, but I, oh, I color me deeply concerned about Ghoul Blitz. It's no Mister Smite. Deeply nervous. The Ghoul doesn't no say on death charge. Like, that would be, that would be <laughs> scary. That's true, I guess. <laughs> 
Um, and then I, I, Lich Warm Might is cool. I already said uh, that's you know a fun little little buff. Um, I don't know how that gets applied, but I'm sure there's some some world in which buffing your board is cool. And the Gathering Storm's obvious for like a late game yeah. combo. Get 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 delay. I mean that's just like, that, the... that's a totally good generic. It's just a generic right. good thing, yeah. Yeah. So, um, that's my my thoughts on Psy initially. Uh, let's talk about his treasures, though. No. Yes. Um, he's got he's got some Gloth. some stuff going on. Gloth. Yeah, tell us or about Gluth. Gluth. I don't know. <laughs> it's an under four mana four two undead beast. So very understated. But his battle cry give you other undead plus two plus one and reborn. Oh. Well, it depends on how good undead are, essentially. Yeah. If that's good. It's a good effect. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of that uh, Paladin 4 mana 4 for mech that gives your mech Divine mm -hmm. Shield and Taunt. It's a bit like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. It's got Plus a little just, bit of, yeah. of Arbor up in it, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. true. It's a bit like an. Yeah, yeah. That's a good comparison. Which is a good so, card and is used often. Yeah, like if you. So the unholy rune, Death Knights tend to be very zooish. At least mm -hmm. that's what I, from what I understand. So this would go, in this would fit something like this, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've, I if, think... you have, if if you're going minion board based stuff, that's that's yeah. quite a solid card. Very sticky, very sticky. So you can set up some really scary stuff. And I think there are some whiteboard attack buffs. In Unholy as well, or at least one, mm. I think. So if you okay. set up a really sticky board with Gluth, and then mm -hmm. you play that, that's that sounds very good. Yeah, so this or has I potential. mean, imagine, imagine you got Zephyrus, and that gives mm -hmm. you access to like Bloodlust, or um, yeah, what's what's the the Druid one that gives everyone plus three? Is Savage Roar. Savage Roar, yeah. So th 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 there's definitely a, a place for I mean, this. And, like, this a is also a Savage Roar already, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this so, just seems that's... very solid. Mm hmm Yeah. The uh, next uh, uh, treasure is Glaciax. Gl Gl Glaciax? Glaciax? Um, it's a four mana, uh, five two weapon with death death rattle. Equip a two five wings of Glaciax. Glaciax. And the Wings of Glaciax is a four mana, two five weapon with Wind Fury and Death Rattle. Summon four one one zombies with a reborn. There's a lot of stuff going on in this card. Yeah. <laughs> so. Like, this is. This is 20 damage, by the way, for four mana, which uh -huh. is our max life in game one. You're right. So, <laughs> that but is it's also scary. not in one turn. Yeah. It takes one, two, three, four. It takes like six turns to, to output the 20 damage. Five turns. Five turns to output the 20 Also, 411 zombies have reborn. That's a lot of zombies in the end. Like, it is. There's a lot going on with this thing. So this is an enormous amount of damage in one card. It's very, it's very And it's not slow. Like It's a weapon. You can swing it immediately. You can, sure. So this Five is just... Five damage off top. I don't know. This is just seems super strong. It doesn't help you against uh, zooish wide board decks when you play it. Like if they, if your opponent already has like uh, four one ones out there and you play, you don't want to play this on four. No, that's yeah. not gonna help you much. The wind fury part would help you, but it takes too long to get there and you'll get zerked down. Mm -hmm. But if your opponent is like more playing some medium sized minions, you can just whack them all to shreds with this thing. Sure. And this seems just very, very strong. Like, what are his hero powers again? Like, I mean, if your op opponent has those tokeny boards, the ghoul, if you have ghoul blitz, that will just deal with that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And then you can use the axe to... Yeah. Do, do face damage, and you'll have... Face. The ghouls don't... The ghouls don't provide corpses? Zombies? No, they are do, zombies. They, it, they, a card does not provide corpses if it says Risen in the name. I see, I see. So these are not Risen Zombies, so they sh They are not cre- Usually the Risen stuff is whatever got created by corpses or is related to corpse creation. Like, these are got not- it. So, um- So you should get corpses off of that also. Yeah. Um, so if- basically okay. if something used corpses to get into exist- to get to exist, it doesn't give a corpse. The corpses used Understood. up. 
right. something like right, that. Right, right. Uh, right, maybe there are exceptions, but we'll get to them. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, but that's like an. They, they don't yeah. want to prevent like an infinite loop thing. I, I, yes. Yeah, I um, so okay. Cool. So this thing's yeah. very scary, but it has weaknesses. Like uh, this part, of course, is immune, quote unquote, to weapon removal, right? Because then you get this part, and if this mm -hmm. part gets weapon removed, you get still get the zombies. So this thing is also very resistant to uh, ooze and stuff. As well, mm, sure. But that's another upside. Sure. I mean, it just that ooze just limits its overall damage output. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Okay. Interesting. Uh, what's the next spell? I, I read that one. What's the next? Remembrance spell? of Ice, a six mana frost spell. <laughs> Let's kick some ice. You resurrect the minions. Your frost spells have killed this game. Okay. Got an eerie stone vibes. Yeah, so this is just a six mana fill the board with stuff. Yeah. But if you use frost spells early on for removal, it might be very small stuff. Mm hmm So this really depends on what your opponent's playing, how good this is. If you're fighting a big minion deck and you kill several of them with your frost spells, then this thing is a monstrous. If it just summons a Morag Forge Fiend and, I don't know, some other big stuff. Mm-hmm. That is insane. But if your opponent is more on the, say, Imp Warlock side, and you summon a bunch of 1-1s, one that's, that's not very yeah, exciting. Yeah, crash. Yeah, so, that's, that, that is a good point. Um, so I give yeah. this one a C plus right now. Okay. That's fair. Although, I guess not knowing all of the Frost spells the Death Knights have, um, mm -hmm. is there a bunch of just like... Uh, maybe, is there uh, a maybe. world in which you just like, yeah, frost nova, frost nova, frost nova, uh, blizzard burn their face? I know that those are mage cards, but is there an equivalent of that? Is there a possibility that you just frost, freeze, 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 kill one yes. big thing? Like uh, frost death knight is a lot about damaging spells and going face mm -hmm. with magic and stuff. Mm -hmm. But still, what this does all depends on what your opponent plays. This is the problem. If there are. I don't think there are many, if any, but if there are Frost Death Knight spells that kill your own stuff for benefit, mm. maybe then this could be good, right? If there's something like destroy a friendly minion and deal its attack and damage to everything or something like that, like mm -hmm. Shadow Flame essentially, then you mm -hmm. could manipulate what this summons. Yeah. Somewhat. It would also summon what the spell killed on the enemy side then, but uh, could, you'd have more influence. But right now you're just completely like you're slave to your matchup with this thing and yeah, that, and that's that sounds bad you don't want that yeah. with your treasure you no. want to be able to rely on it agreed okay so well, i once again c plus let's move on to the next unholy a, embrace okay, next one unholy embrace this one is a four mana spell it says spend up to 10 corpses and add an unholy rune card to your hand for each um I, okay that's like total reload right that's like total late game yeah. i have no hand give me stuff big value i like it of course it's very random but every single unholy rune card will be of high quality because there are no unholy rune cards from old expansions mm. so this will all be quality cards mm. Okay. So it's way better than your average random generation as well. That's fair. That's fair. Like way, way, way better. We're talking uh, eight years of power creep better. Sure. Uh, yeah, I, sure. I, I got I to see the rest of the cards to understand this one, though. Yes. That, that, like, is just, that's a lot, obviously. <laughs> but this, Next this, one seems, this, is, this is really, really good reload. Now the question is just... Uh, yeah. How many corpses are you gonna have for this? Like that's a limiter, of course. Yeah. But if you can afford that, and un unholy decks will have a lot of corpses. That's the thing. So not only will you have more corpses for this, this will also give you a card that refill your corpses again, because they are mm. unholy is good at that. So sure. it's kind of like an investment. So I, I I like this one when I think about it, but um, it, it, it it's all dependent on what the decks like want, what your decks want to do. 
right? Because if you don't need value, if you just need tempo, this is obviously not the treasure you want to go for. Like, um, like the Vanda Priest treasure, right? Oh, right. That gives you, that, that, you almost never play that thing because you just have better stuff to do and don't need to fill your hand with stuff. With yeah. I just pick it because I want to play Priest's Vandar. Exactly. I, I literally never use the actual card. Yeah. So this could end up like that. It's also just exactly like that. Four mana, fill your hand with stuff. Mm -hmm. But this is, of course, more varied, right? When you fill your hand with Death Rattles, you're not really looking for... like You don't really play that in desperation to find an answer either because yeah, I'm just going to get some blokes there. I, I'm not going to get mm. AoE or something like that. Mm. Most of the time. And yeah, I mean, this is more variance to it. There, you could get something more useful out of it than the Vanda treasure, but and more and significantly faster. We'll see. Like, this is great reload for any token thing deck that tends to burn through their hand. It's a bit yeah. like uh, it's also a bit like a bag of stuffing in that way. Mm, bag of stuffing, or like almost the Sunwell, right? It's it's. Yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's way better than Sunwell. Mm -hmm. Just because yeah. Sunwell will be really expensive when you have a low hand and they can't do anything. Sure. Well, this will make you able to play stuff immediately. So this yeah. seems this has potential. It's it's way better than this one. Like I'll give this a B plus. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> next card. What's the next card? Gloof Sickle. <laughs> so it's Gloof again. As a 7 mana 6 4 instead of a 4 mana 4 2. Uh -huh. Still an undead beast with battle cry summon 2 undead from your deck and freeze them. So this is for I mean, big minions, right? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta have big minions, but this costs 7, and then presumably the only minions you have in your deck are gonna be huge also. So outside of that, do you just run a ton of like cheap spells to wait till you get to this point? Yeah, Which like I don't I don't improbable. think I've seen any real good big minion support in Death Knight so far. Maybe this is like maybe that they will change that in future expansions, right? Now we have the big undead package for Death Knight. Maybe that will show up. But I don't I don't I don't think I've seen enough support for this in the reveal so far. I don't think this will be it good now. It seems like the weakest one. It seems also, like the weakest freezing them is really, really bad. It takes forever mm -hmm. for them to act. It takes two turns until they can attack unless they have rush or taunt. Mm -hmm. So, right. Like this is just a seven mana six four that doesn't do anything for two turns most of the time. Are there any big undead taunt death rattles? Uh, there's at least one. I think like one is out there, but I'm not even sure if okay. that was Death Knight. I think that was, it might have been Warlock. I'm not sure. I, I, I'm okay. not sure. I haven't looked at the cards that much. Okay, but if it's not obvious to you immediately, it, it, maybe something's out there, but this seems, uh, this seems, seems like weak. the weakest of the treasures. Like, and, and really weak. Like a freeze that is such a massive downside. Mm -hmm. Maybe they have something in mind, right? Maybe there'll be a future set where... There's self-free synergy and big dudes. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Maybe. Maybe you play this with uh, Ring of Black Ice. Oh. And then you get <laughs> and then you get your dudes in your hand. Ooh. Murabi. Murabi tech. Secret. We, yes. we all knew it was coming. <laughs> okay. The final treasure for Sai is a five mana minion named the inexorable ghoul it's a five five undead with rush and then they're bringing back a keyword that we haven't seen in a really long time except for in single player treasure yeah. uh, single player adventures it's it only in single player yeah it's revive two which supposedly means it's just coming back on its own in two turns so mm -hmm. you're just going to keep on getting this five five with rush every two turns it which is that's that's pretty cool. I, th th I like this card a lot. I think this I mean, is really, really, really. I'll cool. call this guy Shitty Wax Rager. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. I'll but give, it's Shitty Ra Wax Rager is still pretty good. <laughs> it's also it's a bit so, like the Rat goes, King. Does it just go dormant like every other dormant? I think so. It, like, of course, we don't know, but that's how all of them have worked so far. So I'll assume yeah. so. 
I wonder if it can be removed or I guess transformed. Like if it is, this doesn't work as a death rattle exactly. So if it gets it's transformed, not a death yeah. So no, transforming it should remove it. It it, it yeah. it's just yeah. I uh, don't know it's if cool. it's. Then again, if this is like, did you, if you played Rastakhan's Rumble, the shrines there, yeah, also would revive, but the, it was impossible to transform them. They would just go. Mm into revive mode instead so yeah. there's a chance that this guy actually cannot be transformed but i doubt it i, doubt I, it, I, I don't think so that would be very weird and unseen I, the only I seen know, once I, and sort of stuff so no i, I don't think this guy this guy is absolutely <laughs> permanent <laughs> then yeah, again he's it, inexorable he is inexorable so who knows exactly it, it's very interesting card and uh yeah, I, I, I think it's fun. We'll have to play with it. I, I, I have no idea about the strength of it. And just know. once again, we can resummon undead, so maybe we'll have a bunch of them. Oh, yeah, board. You have seven of them on your, your thing. You're just popping oh, off. Oh, yeah, on and then you here. can't ever do anything anymore. That's always fun. <laughs> okay, next so, up. Okay. We are done with the. Ooh. Oh, Is yeah, so all real wrong? quick note. This one. That's all of the heroes. Yeah. Uh, we have treasures next, but real quick before before we get there, um, I think at this point in the video, uh, they did uh, we just did note that deck building for Death Knights in duels will follow the runes rules. Um, so you are gonna yeah. have the same restrictions um, as as we will. We we weren't sure what was gonna happen there. Now well, we know, um, mm -hmm. and we don't know how it's gonna impact buckets. Um, and at the end of the video, he did say that there's going to be a big buckets update, but we don't have any details and we're not going to have any until after we record. So there's no sense in you yeah. and I uh, trying to predict something that we're going to find out tomorrow. That'd be more info on that, but no. I know. I know. I'll make it. So, I'll, I'll, I'm motivated to make a huge, huge <laughs> YouTube video on all this stuff. But okay. I want to well, know you, everything you, first. Yeah, but, I, mean, I mean, speculation's fun, but it's not. It's not yeah. It's not informing anything or anyone, so nope. I don't. I mean, we got enough stuff to talk about. We don't need to add extra time on what they could do to buckets. Yes. We'll know tomorrow. So next up, we are done with the heroes. We're now arriving at passives and this one singular active treasure. They add one new active treasure to the mode. I'm a bit mm -hmm. sad it's not a location. I really want some active loca treasure locations. I'm really looking forward to them doing that at some day. Sure. Well, this one is uh, the new one. It's kind of cute. It's tiny thimble. Three mana, three, three, undead. The first undead treasure. Woo, with rush. And death rattle, add regular size thimble to your hand. So this one's pretty weak. Right? Mm -hmm. But then we get re regular size thimble, which is a better Darius Crowley. Yeah. And Darius Crowley yeah, yeah. Like, is, is pretty mediocre. But getting him cheaper and with more attack... And off of a 3-3 three, three on top of this extra value. That's pretty nice. Yeah, this is a cool, cool, this is yeah. a cool card. I guess it's clearly a pool one treasure. Like, it's not like one of the big game-changing ones, like one of, one of Disintegration or... Uh, Wish or Ring of... Fate yes, or, or even Archmage Staff, stuff like that. This is one of the minor treasures that is just a slightly better card. It sometimes shows up, and that's good. It's yeah, fine. but if you already have rush synergy, yeah, um, then it's really this good. Is incredible. And definitely synergy. The... Yeah. With this guy, or undead synergy. Like this, this guy is a treasure that synergizes with many things, which is not super common. Like most treasures are pretty, uh, are just good on their own or don't synergize with more than one thing. But this guy, he, he's very flexible. He does many things. Yeah, agreed. And uh, the it's art is color. wild. Anyone that's listening who hasn't seen this art yet, it's got to go check it out. It is, uh, it's something. I don't, I don't know what it is, but it, it's certainly something. <laughs> uh, can't even describe it accurately. It's, it's weird. <laughs> the, the, it's, it's like wild. still not that big, right? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder yeah. if there's a, a big symbol that will come out someday. Huh? Oh, I hopefully. I, I can only hope. Or maybe uh, oh, some oh. oversized symbol or something like that. 
or a, a oddly large thimble or something, you know, tiny yeah, thimble. Suspiciously weird. large thimble. <laughs> Un unnecessarily large thimble. In, and, and then the final form is like a monstrously massive thimble, something like that. And, <laughs> and on the art, there's a thimble and a tiny little rattle go next to him. Sure, that'd be fun. Okay. okay. They also oh. announced uh, four passive treasures that mm -hmm. are, are going to be coming in the game. Um, the first, the two in pool one, two in pool two. The first pool one passive treasure is uh, blood shields, and this is a uh, after oh. you after the first time you spend a corpse in a turn, gain one health, which is different than heal for one. This is gain one health. It's very similar to yeah. the um, the invigorating, invigorating light. light right? yeah. But invigorating yeah. light sounds way stronger than this, right? Yeah, I guess, but I mean, are you going to be spending more corpses? Are, are you, you know, Invigorating Light requires you to play a holy spell every turn, which you usually get, but you might not always. Yeah, but this time this I, I imagine requires it's you to spend corpses every turn, which you don't do. I don't. I think there are you. It's easier to play holy spells than to spend corpses. Really? I mean, hematology. Hematology is a hero power that'll let you spend corpses. Yeah. Mana. Sure, but. That's one of the six hero powers we have, so I don't know. I guess uh, yeah, this I hear seems you. a bit I, weak I to me, honestly. Mm. It's not definitely not strong, but I, I if there's some deck that is using corpses every single turn, yeah. um, it's also, a pretty easy way to you know just boost your health. Like also, we have seen a few Death Knight cards in Blood that uh, give you max health. But I don't mm -hmm. think there have been cards yet that, like, uh, make use of that extra health, like in some way that are payoff. Maybe mm -hmm. we'll get something like that in future sets, and then this will get way better. Mm. Okay. We'll see. What about the next treasure? Next one is the Cadaver Collector. It's also after the first time you gain a corpse in a turn, you gain one additional one. So this is also pull one. This is really difficult to tell how good this is gonna be, right? It's all about how how well can I use these corpses, essentially. Mm -hmm. And if your deck's really good at this, of course, and this is probably useful. But it's all about how the buckets. Uh, but we don't know anything about the buckets. I don't really want to talk about it. So I, yeah. yeah, I'd say this. This looks like. Uh, I don't know. I have no clue. Maybe this is yeah, great. Maybe it's rubbish. I I I don't know. It just don't we just know. haven't played with corpses. Yeah, we don't know. Uh, I admit I am it, clueless here. It does synergize with the next uh, pool to uh, treasure that could be good if you just need to have a whole bunch of corpses uh, there. It's okay. cold feet packed, and this one reads: at the end of your turn, summon a risen groom with stats equal to half your corpse total. And, and one uh, important word here, Risen Groom. So this guy will not give you a corpse because he's risen if he dies. See it. I see, I see. Thanks for that clarification. Um, so yeah, but you know, say you've got 10 corpses, you're getting a free 5-5 five five, mm -hmm. um, at the end of the turn, which is pretty, that's, that's pretty awesome for like, free. This turn. is a really interesting treasure. Like first mm. you have and it's also balanced. It's not like the stupid uh, party replacement that we had in mm -hmm. the past, where you just tempo early and then late it's pointless, kind of. Mm -hmm. right? At some point it just becomes irrelevant. Well, this starts off as nothing. Right? You don't get anything in the beginning, I guess. You don't have sure, a corpse, I mean, you, gotta you don't get, get, get a corpses. dude. Right? But yeah. Maybe just one, I don't know. Maybe it gives you, still gives you one, one with one corpse, I don't know. But... You're not getting anything. You know, one one still isn't that impressive anyway. So, uh, and it's yeah. at the end of your turn. Yeah. Whereas party replacement was at the start of your turn. Yes, and yes. So you also can, very important. You know, either have rush or buff them or whatever. Right now, mm -hmm. this that you know your opponent's got the first chance to interact with it. Uh, and yeah. You can remove it or whatever. But then over the course of the game, like this will ramp up, and you'll get some yes. really really big dudes consistently. Maybe even really, really, really big dudes every turn. But then you spend your corpses and boom, they're gone. And you have to start over again. Like this, is it Lord Marrow God that spends all your corpses, I think, is a card? I don't know. Maybe. So there, there are a few cards me. out there that can, at least one card out there, maybe probably more that can spend all your corpses. 
And so it's really about balancing that, right? Is it worth to do that now or not? Do I rather keep corpses around for bigger grooms every turn? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Because there, there goes right. thought into this treasure, and I like that. That's good design. Yeah, it's balanced. Definitely, yeah. This is good. What's and the last one, then? The last one is Ghouls Rush In. Rush in. After the first time you spend a corpse in a turn, summon a 2 2 Risen Ghoul with Rush. Okay. Right. Seems good. It's Risen, so you're not getting a corpse off of it either again. It's right? once per turn, so that's good. This is no spreading saplings, it's just vomits your full board of trees turn one, which I've done plenty mm -hmm. of times, which is just unfair. So, mm -hmm. like this design that is limited. Good. Yeah, I, it feels weak for a tier two. Uh, pool two treasure, uh, but you know, maybe I I'm mean, wrong. I mean, uh, kind of, but it's removal. You yeah. can kind of compare this to Battle Stands hmm. or to Glacial Downpour. <laughs> yeah, current Glacial Downpour, but yeah, it's way weaker than the original Glacial Downpour. These aren't three sixes, yeah. Yeah, well, everything was weaker than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong there. So, um, okay. uh, this seems good. I like the design. Like, it's not overly powerful or anything. I, li I just like... I like this power level. It's, it's at a good power level where I would like everything to be at, kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, none of these seem insane. Uh, none and of that's these good. Seem... That is, that is, for me, that's a really good sign. Like, they... That they... L have learned... Like, um, they, they, they just have learned. They have they got better at <laughs> designing stuff, and now it's, it just feels, for yeah. me personally, it feels right. Like, it's in the right spot. It's not too strong, it's not too weak, and now they just need to bring other stuff in line. Kind of. Yeah. Like, some stuff is just experience. way better than this. Yeah. But that's not this passive's fault, that is uh, the old design's fault, essentially. Like, like uh... Oh. Avenging Armaments, for example, comes to mind. Like that's sure. Not, sure. That is but annoying. You know, <laughs> that, that, that's the other thing with yeah. this, right? These are just the new passives that mm -hmm. were announced. We don't know if anything is getting removed. Yes, correct. We, don't know if, we know that there's a lot of stuff that is changing mm -hmm. um, because uh, you know, at the end of the video, we just uh, at the end of the announcement video, we just announced that. The bucket system is changing, but he doesn't know any details on it. So I'm it seems so, likely that there'll be things that they, they poke at, right? I'm so looking forward to the patch notes. Like, I'm so excited. Yeah. Seriously. So the patch patch notes are going to come out tomorrow, uh, probably very close to the time when everyone's mm -hmm. listening to this, and because uh, I need to edit and everything throughout the day. Yeah. So it'll probably be live uh, why, by the time you listen to this. You, you'll have more information than we do. Um, and, uh, then the patch, I, I read, uh, somewhere that it's going live on Tuesday, um, and that should be when we get all of the March of the Lich King cards and all of these passes and all these new heroes and everything. So, so in two days time, we should, we should know a bunch more about how this all works, I believe. Um, nice. So, uh, so yeah, that, that shall we move on to the cards? Let's do it. We haven't talked in three weeks, and there's been a bunch of them. So let's 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 get going. Let's, this is going to take a little I bit. I suggest time. we start. Uh, first off, I have to capture this somehow. Hold on. Okay. Well, while you're setting that up, let me go to the restroom real fast, uh, so I can be nice and cozy and comfy for this whole thing. And I'll be back in just like two minutes. Okay. Yes. There we go. We don't need that stuff. We don't need that stuff. We don't need this stuff. So don't need that. Something like this, maybe? What happens if I click on a card? Uh...
something like this. If I press the next button, what happens? Next card would be Hematurge. Okay, it works. Excellent. Hematurge, then Asphyxiate. Nice. Okay, I want to can just adjust it to this then. Wonderful. Okay, I am Okay, back. so I put the browser right here. So as we'll start with the Path of Arthur's. Okay, so Which we're looking is at Death the core Knight set for Death Knight. Cool. First card is a two Blood Rune card. We're going to have a bunch of Blood Rune cards it's called Blood Tab. It's two mana, a two mana Shadow spell. Give all minions in your hand plus one plus one, and spend three corpses to give them plus one plus one more. Okay. If you get this spend three corpses thing, it's really efficient, really strong. Yeah. Plus two, plus two normally, and that's great. Yeah, but there's there's those Murloc ones, that, that Murloc uh, buff card that is somewhat similar to this, and the Chum Bucket. Play, so. Yeah, the Chum Bucket, and then there's also the one for Shaman. Um, Chum? Yeah. yeah, isn't there another one for Shaman? Give all Murlocs in your hand plus one plus one, or all Murlocs you control. Is it all are on the board already? It's they're on the board already. I think it's also Warlock. Never mind. Also, okay. Yeah. okay, so right. blood tap. So that one, yeah, hand buff. Okay. okay. They need synergy just by itself. It's difficult to judge. It's a reasonable card. Hematurge, two mana, two, three, two blood rune minion. With battle cry, spend a corpse to discover blood rune card. Basic, right. nice blood card. Good stat line. Just need one corpse, so uh, pretty good. I'd say this is just yeah. very solid. You can Discovers put that in one, any yeah. two blood rune deck. You probably put this just just put this in. Well, no, this is not standard. We're talking duels, so in fifteen card decks, could be difficult to fit something like this, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I wonder maybe if, still do. I, I wonder if knowing that you know we have these fifteen card decks, if we're going to end up with like more pure decks in duels than there will be in standard. Um, I don't it really know. depends if. You how the buckets work and the big payoff card. Uh, if the big payoff cards yeah, for three blood right. runes are worth it in the early games because they are frequently yeah, also fair. expensive. We'll yeah. see. The Hematurge. Next is Asphyxiate. Two blood rune shadow spell. Destroy the highest attack enemy minion. Just yeah. solid removal. Works with Eerie yeah. Stone. Okay. Good uh, card. It's like a deadly shot ish moment. Yeah. Most of the yeah. time, and more a more accurate one, but sometimes you might want to hit something else. So yeah, but overall, very very solid removal. Now, wishes bloodworm. Oh, it's like the hero power bloodworms, right? No, it's two mana three two, beast with one blood rune, battle cry, give a minion in your hand attack equal to this minion's attack. So more hand buff stuff okay. in blood. Yeah, this just buffs buff, attack. You your buff. But this is a lot of attack, right? This is three attack on a minion. So if they, At if we can buff some charges with this stuff, like that, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, this has some potential for hand buff stuff shenanigans. We'll see. Like just by itself, it's just a okay minion, and okay minions usually don't make it into decks. Mm -hmm. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Move on the right. dark fallen. Neophyte, three mana, two five undead, one blood rune with battle cry. Spend two corpses to give all minions in your hand plus two attack. More hand buffing. More uh, hand buffing. In hand really buff interesting hand buff. Wow, this is not what I expected at all for the blood ma uh, blood runes. I was expecting a bunch of healing and stuff. Yeah, I, not I guess this is the other all. aspect. I guess which you where you where you transfer your power through blood mm -hmm. to others. I guess. Okay. Something like that. Sure. Fair enough. Good play. So there. more hand buff, cool. If there's good hand synergy, buff? yes. But this is yeah, another one of those minions. Never, it has never worked in duels, not a single time. Yes, I mean, you know, it never had any support in. 
buckets or anything. So maybe it'll work in the future with the update. We'll see. That'd be cool. I love that mode. I love yeah. that way of playing, but yeah. So, yeah. Solid card? I mean, spending two corpses sounds like a relatively stiff cost. Uh, maybe, right. yeah. I, I, the whole corpse mechanic, I, I, yeah. I can't comment at all on it. it yeah. It's totally opaque to me. Not yeah. Not touch it yet. I don't know. I don't know. It, it has some factors to this card to make it difficult to judge. I'd probably not put this in a deck. Next, the Scourge. And two unholy nine mana legendary shadow spell fill your board of random undead. Garbage. What? Le legendary spell? Yes, the what? Scourge. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> I guess I don't know what all the undead are, but like, there's got to be a bunch of really cheap ones, right? And, yeah, like, I mean, you I... can get seven Blood Mage Shell Nose and then mill your deck. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. uh, it, it, I mean, if you discover this, sometimes that's great, right? It's just it's a but, fun but card. Never put this in a deck ever unless there is some something like Swift Scale Tricksters somewhere. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> That's, Next that's up, fun, though. Tomb I'm Guardians. Excited. Yes, it, it's not. A, it's a cool card, but I'm not going to put it in a deck. Tomb not Guardians, four mana, two unholy shadow spell. Lots of shadow spells. Mm -hmm. Summon two, two, two zombies with taunt and spend four corpses to give them reborn. So the effect okay. is a lot. They are not risen, right? I think. So yeah, you'll so get four corpses if you activate this back. Yeah, yeah. It's just a, it's an investment. But... Unless, wait, they're menacing zombies. Yeah, they're not risen. But oh. the thing is, like, four corpses? Like, maybe you're not gonna have four corpses on four. Right? Uh, they're only... So, then it's not that right. great. But if you have four corpses on four, this is really good. I think. Sure. All this is great right. at feeding it in Athrace. Maybe they're... Like, this is a card that I could see in a deck. It's very defensive. Mm-hmm. There, and there was it's that one... lots of dead things, yeah. and that's really good for Death Knight, right? There was that warrior card uh, that summoned two two fours, yeah. right? And yeah, I, yeah. I, this has got us those vibes. But I think this is stronger. Hmm. Okay. Just because reborn seems a bit better than just uh, being a two four. Mm -hmm. Like uh, killing things multiple times is just really annoying. This is basically big annoyotrons kind of. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That, that. That. Yeah. So, next one, unholy frenzy. That's the uh, three mana. Un no, not unholy. It's just three mana. One. What is that again? It is unholy. <laughs> one unholy rune for the unholy frenzy. Who would have guessed? Mm -hmm. Choose an enemy minion. Your minions attack it and resummon any that die. So it's a bit like. Uh. Devour? Is it, is that what it's called? Well, I don't remember. The that Hunter? Part. A zero mana spell? No, what is zero it? Zero mana spell. Is that the one where you like all your rats come back to your hand? Right? Everything that dies, yeah. Yeah. It's a bit like that, but um, it summons immediately, which could mm -hmm. be really huge. Right? This could be yeah, this is... very powerful sometimes. There's also this is this is like the opposite of provoke mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. in warrior, which maybe. Yeah, but this is not something you'd put in a deck, I'm sure. No, no. Dark transformation, two mana shadow spell, and one unholy transform and dead into four five and then monstrosity with rush. Pretty good with mm. those one one hero power dudes, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Especially with the one that has reborn, so you can attack one in and transform the reborn one. I still sure. doubt that this is good enough to put in a deck, but it's, it seems like it has applications. Definitely, and it also, you know, sometimes people are using that jellyfish transformer to, uh, to take down opponents' big minions. So this can obviously buff your own guy, but you could also, you know transform some huge undead on the other side into something more manageable yeah yeah but it's limited to undead so it's super sure. rare Niche. that you can pull that off but yeah. maybe sometimes yes 
Now, good to keep in mind. Next, the Ruby and Swarm Guard, a 4 mana 1 3 undead with 1 unholy taunt and battle cry summon 2 copies of this minion. So, this is where all the hand buff goes in, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. But it only works. The hand buff has been 2 blood. So, this only works in exactly 2 blood, 1 unholy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> the, the, the flavor text. How long can this go on? Apparently, even in death. <laughs> <laughs> Oh okay. boy! How long can this? Who go? Jokes yeah, this? Immediately, I would go to uh, to Shutter Walk with that, but yeah. obviously, that's a Shaman card. That's not going to happen. But it's the same, same uh, verbiage, same language. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. I like that. Card. Solid. If like if the hand buff is useful, then you, yeah, like, this can just go in a deck then. Otherwise, no. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I mean, this with Hagatha's Embrace. Yikes. Oh yeah. So next, Lady Death Whisper, 3 Frost. 4 mana, 4, 3 undead with Death Rattle. Copy all Frost spells in your hand. Now this one is nuts. That is one reason to run 3 Frost Druids. And I think it's actually enough of a justification to do it. This could... I, I gotta believe you, I don't know what all the Frost spells are. Like I mean, I, obviously spells... it's a... Uh, there are many cheap, efficient ones. They do a lot of burn. They do freezing, obviously. Like, they're very good. So if you get to copy all of them, that is monstrous. So this card is very scary. You gotta and, be committed, though. Yeah, you have to commit to Frost. But that might just work. Frost spells are scary. You just I wonder... continue and look at the others. But like this is just, yeah, this has very high potential. So what? what I wonder if a Scarlet Leaf Dancer, uh, her scourging hero power, the, the two mana one that says yeah. discover and undead. Do you think that that will restrict it to no. undead that you are allowed to play, or do you think like this could pop off? Discovers are it? always run unrestricted. Uh, but if you're not already yeah. invested in Frost, like she's not that great not anyway. Good. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm just wondering. But you could always things. find more of them. Just more thinking about the cost reduction here, Paul. Like, and then you copy all those cost reduced spells. And they're all mm -hmm. also cost reduced. That's very. That's also delicious. Mm -hmm. So, and maybe if I have a shadow spell too to kill her, and your Eerie Stone gives you another one. Yeah, who knows? Oh, sure. Next. Yeah. <laughs> you probably won't have an Eerie Stone in chat for spells. Okay, next one Marrow Manipulator. 6 mana, 5 of Undead with Battle Cry spend up to 5 corpses. And deal two damage to random enemy for each. If they don't have any minions on the board, that's ten face. It's another for three damage. frost rune one. So frost. So far, um, wants you uh, wants you to dedicate yourself a lot. Yeah, and you also, I mean, you have to have the five corpses, which I mean, are the frost rune are the frost death knight decks. Those aren't generating corpses at this rate, right? So it's going to be pretty tough to. To yeah. have that ready on turn six. Yeah, you're probably not going to have five corpses on six. If you spend them on anything else, you're not going to have that. No. Well. But it's like this is a strong effect, of course. And if you're running a frost deck, and this is a ton of burn, you're probably going to use that then. Mm. Seems like a good card. Next, Might of Manithil. I'll leave this one to you. Okay, well, Might of Menethil is a four mana, two frost rune weapon. It is four attack and two durability. With battle cry, spend up to three corpses, freeze that many enemy minions. Um, and uh, this looks like another one where it's going to be slowing things down and uh, uh, hitting you in the face for some damage. But you gotta have the corpses, right? And yeah. uh, they gotta have enemy min. You gotta have enemy minions on the board to make that useful, which usually you do. But you know, it's not guaranteed that it's it's gonna happen, right? Worst, it's eight face damage. If the enemy doesn't have minions, which is also not bad. Sure. Like weapons are always just great pressure. If your opponent doesn't play minions, then you can just freely punch them in the face. Mm. And this is good. At pretending the opponent doesn't have minions and then punching in the face anyway. And then you blow them up with spells. Because that's what Frost is good at. Yeah. 
<laughs> eight damage for four four mana is not terrible. In a burn deck, especially, especially that makes yeah. it slows down the enemy and makes you live. So I think this weapon is really good. Okay, cool. Ah. Next up, Death Chiller. Two mana, blue three elemental for two frost runes. After you cast a spell, deal one damage to two random enemies. Hmm. This is not Flame Waker, like you can't machine gun someone down. There have to be two targets, otherwise you're just gonna hit them once. Mm -hmm. But it's still, it's just, this can still do a ton of damage, potentially. Yeah, I mean, approaching Flame Waker, and that's such a good card. And yeah. Two mana, two, three, this, this is cool. If, especially with cheap spells, like you keep on saying, uh, Frost <laughs> Death Knight is filled with. <laughs> this is good. That's some really good ones, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Bonebreaker. One mana, one frost rune, weapon, 2-2. Two, two. After hero attacks a minion, deal 2 damage to the enemy hero. Mm. Both control plus face damage. That's cool. I like that a lot. That's really nice. Yes. For one mana, it's, it's just solid. Deal eight. It's eight damage split between minions in the board, yeah. uh, the board in the face. So that's cool. That's so much damage for one mana. You're right. Like what? Yeah, but but if you you know you draw it late in the game, uh, late in your run, you mm -hmm. don't care. But turn one, this is an incredible card. Yeah. Turn one, if you're going second. This is like the best thing you can possibly have if they've got a single minion on the board. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. This next one, I can't even pronounce that. Can you pronounce that word? Is that y y Ymir Jar? Ymir, Ymir Jar, Jar is, yeah, something like that. Ymir Jar, Ymir Jar Frostbreaker. This is a one mana, Ymir. one two, one frost rune death knight uh, minion with battle cry gain plus one attack for each frost spell in your hand. There's quite a few of these uh, one mana cards that have been popping out in the different different classes that yeah can theoretically get quite big. Also, his flavor text is also gains plus one attack for each time your opponent mispronounces his name. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that until you just read it. <laughs> <laughs> it really is impossible to pronounce that. I, I that's not a real word. It's it's absurd. <laughs> Apparently, I, I read a comment someone somewhere where this Emir Jar is. Like a fusion of two different Norse mythological things. Okay. Sounds like but it. But I forgot. I, mean... I was like, um, that where the jar is the half of something else and the Ymir, I guess it's just giants. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, jar, I've seen that, like, that suffix on Norse words before. Ymir, I haven't seen before. I'm not familiar with that, that prefix. But, anyways. With Y M I R J A R for for anyone listening. Y M I, -I, -M -I undead. It's a, it's it's very 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 tricky. Oh wait, he's not undead. Oops. He's not undead. No. This, just, this uh, guy is alive. Uh, vanilla minion. Interesting. So <laughs> next up, the bread and butter frost spell, Howling Blast. 3 mana, 1 frost, frost spell, deal 3 damage to an enemy and freeze it, deal 1 damage to all other enemies. It's a swipe, mm -hmm. but better. Yeah. Well, it's cheaper. Way better. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> bada, bada, bada. That's awesome. That's going to show up all constantly. Really strong. You're going to see this card. You're going to see this card almost every run. And it just requires a single frost room. So you can slot and this in in all sorts of decks. Sure, and I mean, you get that frost spell damage, uh, tier one passive, pool one passive, mm. and all of a sudden it's deal five damage to an enemy <laughs> and freeze it, deal three damage to all other enemies. That's awesome. Yeah, if you get that, that's insanely strong. That's disgusting. This card has a ton of potential. And if I run frost in my deck, I'll probably put this in. Absolutely. As long as I'm on the defensive side anyway. No, I'm not going to put this in tempo deck, but yeah, this is just good defense. And sometimes some burn. 
Which is very ironic to say with frost spells. Well, whatever. <laughs> well, Next up. Please burn. Frostmon! It's the good old card we know from the Lich King. It's just the same thing. It has no rune requirements either. Okay. I so it's a 7 mana 5 3 weapon with Death Rattle summon every minion killed by this. In case you don't know uh, what Frostmon Are, aren't did all of, Aren't all of the Death Knight spells in here now? Death Knight cards? S yeah, but not not many were changed though. Oh, okay, okay. Not this one. This is exactly. Not this one. This is the art's the same. copy. It's the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe. this goes we'll to see. show I, I... how power has crept. <laughs> so moving on, the corpse bride. Until undeath do us part. Five Corpse mana four, four undead. A... Yep. Oh, sorry. Is it five five <laughs> mana four four undead. Sorry, I have to wait a second until it, it catches up. There's about like a five second delay on the, oh, the screen. Oh, okay, so. It says, uh, Valakrai, spend up to eight corpses, summon a risen groom with stats equal to the amount spent. So this is the same risen groom text uh, as in the, uh, the passive treasure. Um, but except it's it doesn't, the same doesn't token. have a half. It's the same amount, yeah. And the, the, it's kind of fun the, that it's the, this is the bride as yep. the groom. And the um, the passive does not spend the corpses, I think. It just... Correct. Yeah. So this one is Maybe. a really big corpse spender, and you can get a really big dude. Right. I don't know. This doesn't seem that strong, honestly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, probably not going to go into a deck. It doesn't have a rune requirement. You could put you could put this in any deck, but why? <laughs> okay. Yeah, you have to have a specific reason, unless you have like some sort of crazy like adding removing corpses thing. I I, I don't know. Yeah, maybe there's something, but I don't see it right now. So malignant horror for mana of two four undead reborn at the end of your turn. Spend five corpses to summon a copy of this minion. I assume that keeps on going. Each turn, then, right? Yeah, and those reborn I mean, things are also. Corpses. But it's a lot of corpses, yeah. And it doesn't have taunt or anything like that. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. On I, four, I really don't know. you're probably not gonna have five corpses. So yeah, not only will you not not have five corpses, but then like. Yeah, at most you're gonna redo this one time, I assume, right? You're gonna, it, it's only gonna proc once or twice maximum. I don't know. I the whole corpse thing, whole thing. I I've said it since the beginning. I don't know how it works in duels, how strong it will or will not be. So let's move mm -hmm. on. I I I I, yeah. I I don't have any comment on this. Glacial advance, three mana, one frost rune, frost spell. Deal for damage. Your next spell this turn costs two less. Okay. So it sounds like a rogue card almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the I spam spells spell from Fro <laughs> Frost. Yeah, and you can go face. Yeah, it's a, so. it's a common card. It's a, they, they, I, I anticipate something like this you'd see also. Like all, any of these cheap Frost spells, they all look pretty cool and, and pretty common and they would get jammed in together, right? You just wait. I'll get there in 10 years and then you'll be sorry. Glacial advance, yes. Okay. Horn of Winter. Yours. I can't see it. Yeah, I, I figured. Also, uh... Just let me know. <laughs> okay, there we go. Horn of Winter. Refresh two mana crystals. Zero mana. We, we read this one before. This is a familiar card that we, we talked about last time. And mm -hmm. that's great. It's going to show up all the time. 100%. Frostborn Fury. I probably talked about this, right? Yes. Did we now arrive at cards that we've already talked about? Plague Strike, yeah. I believe that. So I think yeah. we've talked about all of these before. So let's just yeah. move on to the actual set. Yes, please. Where we'll have so many cards to discuss. March of the Lich King. Yeah. Let me just start from the top. Just let's go. Does it look fine in stream? Yes. Yeah. Hearth still. Yours in the card library. Correct? Huh? Yes. Are you just in the card library? Okay, I'll just pull that up too so I can 
read as we go down and how are you sorting it i think it's sorted oh, I, I don't know what i mean i got so, it's sorted by most recent Hunter. most recent um okay so does it also start with alexandros morgrain for you Yes, I see. Okay, that's then what I seems got right fine. Here. Okay, so Alexandros Mograine is a 7 mana 7 7 undead, 3 blood runes, battle cry for the rest of the game, deal 3 damage to your opponent at the end of your turns. So you're really putting on the timer there. You are putting it on, and there is that one card uh, from uh, uh, Knights of the Frozen Throne that, that repeats your end of turn effects. So theoretically, you're doing 6 damage to your opponent at the end of your turns. With those mm -hmm. two together, which is okay, but you're once you it's I mean it's good obviously, but when it's seven mana where you got to get to that point. Mm -hmm. so, I don't know. If you have a brand down, does this do it twice? So it's yeah. six that way also. Yes. Yeah, brand this and that end of turn card. All of a sudden, you're doing twelve damage a turn, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's nice. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, like this is just. You, if you have a very, very slow deck that just tries to survive and then you play the Mograine and you slowly watch them wither away while you heal yourself. That's essentially the plan, right? Yeah. So he's just a very, very slow win condition. Doesn't seem that good to me, honestly. Yeah, it seems like a big legendary that looks cool and flashy but actually doesn't have a strong impact in the game. I guess um... this, this takes so long. It takes forever to do a reasonable amount of damage. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, it's a bit better than War Golem, true. But but uh, this ain't no side of Nathrius. No, no. This, is a, this isn't an OTK potential at all on that. Next up, Soul um, Stealer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eight mana, a 5-5 five, five undead for three blood runes with... Battlecry, destroy all other minions and gain one corpse for each enemy destroyed. So you get a corpse for every minion that dies from this, not just from yours. And it's the opponent's corpses too, so this is like a yeah. Twisting Nether uh, with a body. That's kind of scary. Yeah, that's brutal. Uh, that's, that's pretty intense. Um, that Yeah, the deep, deep control decks, that's going to that's gonna show up. But the, the stats are low. So mm -hmm. And you knows? need three blood runes, so... You need to be committed to blood. And brew. Like, this is That's very powerful. Tricky. Very powerful. Like, we have had some very good triple blood cards. Like if you run the Soul Stealer, if you run the Mograine. Like this is a very yeah, the, like these these go together very well. Like this guy I'm, is the win condition, kinda, a very slow one. And then this is the guy that just is uh embodies the control your deck is doing this is a card your opponent will be afraid of once they reach mm. high mana mm. if they are the, ball based th th this also will take care of like jailer nonsense too yes Very yeah good. it's not targeted so that's cool Nice. Yeah, that, that that that's a super strong card. Now that I'm thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. The next one, uh, Bone Guard Commander, is an eight mana eight eight undead with taunt and battle cry. Raise up to six corpses as one two risen footmen with taunt. Yet another, just slow things down, pump the brakes. Let's let's see how long we can make this game go. Although that feels like it's way too slow for duels. Uh, uh, but maybe I maybe I'm wrong. But it it it, it that's pretty pretty hard i guess this is I, this card is great right? there's so many stats but mm -hmm. it's an eight, eight drop an and eight that's drop. and there are you're not playing eight drops and duels like not more than one yeah. in your starting deck or like unless you have a really good reason like your vanda hero power or something like that mm -hmm. but the death knight heroes don't have that so no this guy doesn't make it yeah and then soul is strong. Is better yeah, the fact is strong, definitely. Uh, but, it's but just one ones, blood rune, though, so yeah, maybe I don't know. It's easier to put in the deck than the others we have seen, but yeah, uh, yeah I don't see it. Yeah. Card is strong, but probably not good enough for card this expensive. Sure. 
Uh, next card is a three mana, three two weapon, Soul Breaker with one uh, blood rune. And this one reads After your hero attacks and kills a minion, gain two corpses. Um, okay. Mm hmm. Are corpses worth that much? Like, this seems similar to the warrior weapon that draws you a card. Uh, I know it's a four mana, three, three, but, you know, it's not super dissimilar. Are corpses mm. as good as drawing? Well, we have seen a few corpse things now. It's... But not Maybe. enough yet, I guess. I guess it's just one blood rune. You can slot this in an holy deck if you need a ton of corpses. Or, oh, yeah, we've had these, um, Frost cards like the Marrow guy, you know, that uses the corpses to shoot enemies. Mm. Maybe you want, but that is three frost, right? So you couldn't run those in the same deck anyway. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I guess it's just, just if your deck uses corpses well, this is a weapon to feed them, to feed that uh, machine. Mm -hmm. and that, this could show up, but. Yeah. Um, I. Probably not in a dual stick. The, same thing with the next one too, right? Uh, the necrotic mortician. Ne necrotic mortician. This is a two mana two three with two unholy runes. Uh, Battle cry: If a friendly undead died after your last turn, discover an unholy rune card. Um, okay, that's not bad. That's very solid. Uh, it's solid, yeah. It's just so a, discover it's you really, rune. really strong two drop, like. Discover an unholy rune card. Once again, these uh, rune restricted discovers are incredibly strong because they are all modern cards from now. So you'll never see trash cards from, say, from League of Explorers or something that don't do anything nowadays. No. So this is just, you get a really good card off of this always. Mm. Okay. So I'd say this card is actually pretty good. Fair. And the effect is relatively easy to trigger. That's true. But I, I do like the died after your last turn, since it includes both your yeah. opponent's turn and your turn. Yeah, um, your turn now displayed. and the opponent's yeah. last turn. Yeah, I love that. I'd say uh, this what about the next one? Good. Next card. We got a lot of them to get through. <laughs> the giant enemy spider. Blight Fang, one. Oh my god. Unholy battle cry infect all enemy minions when they die. You summon a two-two zombie with taunt at least. This just counters white board decks super hard. Doesn't do anything else. So this is a meta call. This card is good. Tokens Except, are a thing in duels. Yep, so they are a thing, but it is really meta dependent. I you think you see a lot of it counters Death Knight pretty well with all the zombies. Let's <laughs> see. So, the Meat Grinder, Battle Cry, Shred a random minion in your deck to gain two corpses. One unholy, three mana, three for mech. Three corpses. Yes. Yeah, I don't think So, once again, that it's a minion in your deck that rarely matters. Right? Unless you fatigue, but that almost never happens. So, this is just. You could read this as three mana, three for gain three corpses. Mm. Make your deck one card smaller. Yeah. But if you play it too early and you, you shred on accident like your your key card, your key combo piece, it's gonna feel bad. It's uh, yeah. Even, this it's, is a feels bad card, but this is always just you could also imagine it's the last card in your deck, it's the same thing. Yeah, I know, I know. But still. Uh, just, just psychologically. I I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> but it's uh, it's probably solid. If, you, if you're sitting there to get as much corpse as possible, the, the the corpse economy is going to be very interesting. It's going to be a thing that you're going to have to learn how to, to manage for yes. sure. And, uh, you know, it's just a totally different way of playing. Uh, the next card is a three mana, three, four, one frost rune card. Is the Acolyte of Death. Um, after a friendly undead dies, draw a card. So it's very similar to Acolyte of Pain, but bigger. Um, and, yeah, I, I reload always. I think that the frost deck are going to be... Yeah, sorry. I, I was gonna say the frost car, frost decks look like they're gonna have trouble uh, with their hand size and and listen through cards, uh, just like Mage often does. So any yeah. draw will be useful. So this reminds me a lot of Pyromaniac, mm. because the hero power also summons undead. Like this is really good with that uh, Ghoul Frenzy hero power, where you get the reborn Ghoul control two cards. Oh sure. Like, 
Yeah. This is this just seems like an incredibly good card. Mm. Yeah, at five mana, that's you could play this and that, ping and twice, then, draw two yeah. cards. Yeah, that's easy. And have an, maybe you have an under another undead lying around, and it's even more like. Well, this this card seems great, and just cool. one frost, it's easy to slot in. Very good. Mm -hmm. The next card. Uh, Vampiric Blood. This is a two mana spell with three blood runes on it. And it reads, give your hero plus five health, spend three corpses to gain five more and draw a card. Okay. So you get plus 10 health and draw a card for... That's that's interesting. It's, uh, if you're trying to slow things down and find the cards you're looking for, a cycle... Yeah, it's very good, and it's very good in a late game deck. And it only costs two, right? Like the shield block is a joke compared to this. If you have the corpses, yeah, that's right. That is right, isn't it? And it also gives you more healing potential for you know, yeah, uh, a couple cards. So, or your Reno yeah, Jackson, inevitable. So, <laughs> no, yeah, I agree. This this just seems so very good, but it's three blood. So you, if you're running a three blood deck, you're putting this in, period. Hundred percent. Yeah. You, you, otherwise, you're not going to live long enough. <laughs> yeah. No, um, next... The last one we talked about before. We talked about corpse explosion oh. last time for sure. Yeah. Okay. So brutal annihilation. We are now arriving at demon hunter. Right now, this brutal annihilation is nine mana, nine nine demon with taunt and rush. And after this minion survives damage, deal that amount to the enemy hero. Oh, wow. So we had King Rush. Now we have... What is this? Crush. Yeah, and then there was King also Rush, that other... King uh, Rush, like, two electric boogaloo. <laughs> yeah. King Rush, two the electric boogaloo. As long as there's another minion on the other side, right? Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's deal the amount of damage that it took to the enemy hero. So the most it can yeah. do is eight. Yes. Um, but it, it reminds me a lot of that other demon uh, hunter card, the the eight eight. That after your hero attacks, this also attacks the target, right? That's what I meant. Um, that's that's King Rush. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, this this is a, <laughs> a good card uh, if you can get that late. And th this is really strong with that um, that the Drekthar treasure, right? The summon three demons from your deck. It, I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, do you know what I'm talking about? Or is it Vandar? What is that card called? Uh, Vandar. The summoning is ritual. Salinas? Summoning yeah. ritual. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, this is a good card for summoning ritual, obviously. Yeah, like big. This is big D D H support. That never worked before. Not really, at least. Yeah. So, yeah, doubtful this will do anything. Maybe. Okay, real quick, I just, just, I, yeah. just quick check in here. Um, I'm looking at, through this this thing. We got about 100 cards at least to go. <laughs> um, and I, I hear in your voice a little 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 trickle of tiredness. And I, I want to make sure that we, we, we're doing a sustainable thing and not pushing you too hard to here right now. No, no, I'm just fine. Wanna, uh, but you we sure? Can, we, maybe we should... Sp Speed up a bit. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a lot of I, cards. It's a lot so of cards. Maybe they're, not they're discuss. Maybe just discuss the card if you think it's really impactful. If it's interesting, yeah. Because what you know in duels, I would say what like yeah. five percent of the cards maybe actually end yeah. up showing because we're gonna end up talking about a bunch of stuff that yeah. we'll literally never. So see let's in speed duels. up a bit. It's probably also more interesting for everyone. We can we should read out what the cards do at least. So unleash fell, one mana fell spell. Deal one damage to all enemies, the mana first, mana first four, so if you have four more max mana, this is the first mana for the first card we're talking about, so I just want to clarify what mana first does. Mm -hmm. uh, it has lifesteal. This is a really good card. Spirit Lash. Spirit it's really Lash good. Almost. Yeah. It's be better than Spirit Lash, yeah, I think. Yeah, it's all the enemies. And, yeah. and it's, it's, it's it really face. synergizes with everything that Demon Hunter does, like it does face damage. It, because the board it heals you, it, it's a fell spell, and it has tons of fell synergy. So this, there's no way this card doesn't show up in some way. Like this is so good. Very interesting. Moving um, on. Moving on. Keep going. Do it. 
Teldrai Warband. 4 mana, deal 4 damage if your deck has no minions, summon for 1-1 one, one Eldar Refresh. The stuff like this has never worked in duels because of how buckets work. Mm -hmm. be but we don't know what the bucket changes will be. Bucket system change will be before tomorrow, so I can't comment on this. Mm -hmm. Probably won't work. Maybe it will. Mark of Scorn, draw a 2 mana, nothing spell. Draw a card. If it's not a minion, deal 3 damage to low self enemy. Same thing. Yep. This is more likely to work because uh, you don't have have the no stuff requirement. You just need to make sure you don't draw a minion, which is just a chance based thing. But probably not worth it. So I need to scythe. Now this yeah, one's really interesting. I'll leave it to you and, this, and, this... and okay, get a drink read it. so I can keep talking. <laughs> Okay, so Soul Eater's Scythe is a legendary weapon for Demon Hunter. It's a four mana, four attack, two durability weapon. It's got start of game text, which hasn't really happened very often uh, in regular standard cards. It's a start of game, consume three different minions in your deck, leave behind souls that discover them. Uh, what? What? <laughs> are the minions uh do, are, are the souls cards like soul stones that are in your deck and when you draw it it discovers the minion and does it play it I, they, or do the souls you leave behind souls are they <laughs> on your board oh maybe i shouldn't have maybe i shouldn't have left this card to you because i know how this works I, okay well, that's why I, i'm proposing card. look at this weird bug do you see that here? Related cards? Cthulhu Shattered, I have Cthulhu. It relates to the Cthulhu cards down here. Weird. What? Okay, so what this does is... Um, three different minions in your deck, so they can't be copies of each other, but that's not possible in early duels deck building anyway. Get removed from your deck. Yeah? Yeah. And then instead, uh, this... Um, that, Tokens spells that I now can't show because it's bugged down here, but there's a, there are one mana spells and when you play them you discover one of these three minions. And you and add them to your hand. your hand. So you have to pay one extra, but you can you get to pick which one you get. And they are not in your deck. For oh, there's no minions in your deck no. synergy. And um once you picked one you can't pick it a second time. And if you're in the souls, are are they just cards? They're one mana cards that are in your in the deck, deck. Yes. And you'll draw it, and then you play it, and you're going to discover one of them. Mm hmm. I... So you get a lot of control over what minion you get at what point in the game. Yeah. And you have um, either few minions in the deck or none yeah. for those synergy spells. Oh. But that'll break pretty fast in duels. Yes. So this is not a duels thing. card. It's super interesting. But I don't see this working. Especially because yeah. if you want exactly three minions, like there'll be more at some point. Like You can't exactly. avoid it. And then you have stuff in your deck. Yeah. I don't think even the new, the new and upgraded system will fix this. I don't think so. Uh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I don't like that card. I think it's interesting, but I don't, I don't like it. Are there any other Demon Hunter cards you want to talk about? Yes, oh, you want to read them, there's a yes, there's a big outcast package. That seems like it yeah, could there's... be very interesting with the Stellina Outlander hero power. Yeah, there are four outcast cards, mm -hmm. I see that now. So Fierce Outside is a one mana two one rush with Outcast your next outcast card costs one less. So yeah, this this has lots of comboing potential with the Stellina stuff. Vengeful Walloper, Rush costs one less for each outcast card you've played. This game costs seven is a 5-5 five, five demon. So this is mm -hmm. probably not good enough. It's too expensive. Then Wretched Exile. Now this one's very cool. It's a 2 mana 2 3 after you play an outcast card. Add a random outcast card to your hand. Mm, and yeah. we have this uh, dude in duels that has your outcast cards cost one less. Mm -hmm. So maybe there's some potential going on there where you can just spam... Some outcast mm. cards. Like sort of like Thief Random Demon Hunter, similar to Priest or something. That That's interesting. Yeah, similar yeah, to that. A second Spellweaver or the... 
Walking Master in, in Rogue. Yeah. Okay. And then the last one, the last Outcast card in the Demon Hunter package is a, a legendary minion. It's a four mana three three. Thelarin the Forgotten. Oh. And his battle cry, he has a battle cry. Add a random Outcast card to the left and right sides of your hand. They cost two less. Wow. So you're going to get Outcast stuff that you should be able to play right away, most likely. Um, that gets Look extra, at that extra flavor power. text. That's great. What does the flavor text say? It's got... <laughs> it just says flavor text. <laughs> hey, messed up. They're working on it, I'm sure. <laughs> They're a little busy over there, I'm sure. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, the, the, that Outcast package, it, it, it's been needing support and help, and uh, mm -hmm. all four of those are, are things. I don't know if any one of them is what enables it, but at that totally they is all, a possibility. They all sound solid. Yeah. Um, and then the last card I see for Demon Hunter that I haven't seen yet is also, it's a deal with the devil. It's a five mana spell, fell spell. It reads, summon two three three fell fiends with lifesteal. If your deck has no minions, summon another. So that's where the Soul Eater Scythe comes in. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not a card that's going to be played in duels. Yeah. I mean, fell spell. Maybe, but, but I don't yeah. know. Okay, I can see this Druid. outcast thing working. But yeah, let's go mm -hmm. to Druid. So Ooh, first card is like Keeper. Thing. Wow. It's from the yep, armor package. Do we got an interesting armor package? Mm -hmm. How many crypts could a Crypt Keeper keep if a Crypt Keeper could keep crypts? Yikes. So this is 8 mana, 4, 6 taunt cost, 1 less for each armor you have. Okay. So this is the payoff for armor stuff. Next is Beetlemancy. Gonna is a garbage card. Chitinous Plating, 2 mana, gain 4 armor, I decided next turn, gain 4 more. Pretty solid. Mm, yeah. Could eight. show up, I don't know, probably not in... No, yeah, I, I, no, probably not, but it's a solid card. Yeah, for 2 mana, I mean, it, it, it's similar to the... For 2 mana, you're getting 8 armor. There's mm -hmm. that 3 mana, gain 8 armor, tradable card for Warrior that shows up, but that's just because it's gain armor for bombs. I, I don't see this. Sorry, keep on. Yep. Underking. 7 mana, 6-6, six, six, Rush. Undead with Battle Cry and Death Rattle gain 6 armor. So if uh, Death Rattle Elise still works and the passives don't get changed heavily, like this card's gonna be really good. Oh my god, yeah. Oh wow. If you get. That's 18 armor, deal 18 damage to the board. Or deal 12 damage to 12, the board. 12, yeah. But still. Yeah, That's that is a monstrous amount of armor and very good board impact. So this, we're gonna in the current meta we would see this. Yes. Anubrakan, and now this is the very odd card. That's eight interesting. Seven seven undead battle cry gain eight armor this turn. Uh, gain eight armor, and this turn your minions cost armor instead of mana. Interesting. So it's the first time you can pay for ar things with armor instead of health. Okay, mm -hmm. I like that because you're not like, I mean, you're hurting yourself, right? But you're not like actually potentially killing yourself. And it already gives you that eight armor. So you could potentially play, I mean, you can obviously play an eight mana minion right after this in addition to the seven seven body. Yeah. I mean. I've seen some that's... weird, some crazy combo potential with this too. You yeah. play a Nubrican and you play Bran. Then okay. you play the questline guff reward. Oh wow! And then you play Zola. <laughs> <laughs> and then good night. Wow! Wow! And that'll all work because you're gonna get all that armor off of all those things, and you're gonna. Oh my god! That's pretty neat. I don't think that this is. Oh, I don't know. That's cool. Yeah, this enables some some nonsense. Like that this definitely enables. could enable insane nonsense. Yeah, yeah, and like, but freaking plate breaker druid. Yeah, like <laughs> is that is that going to show up? Are we going to end up with like eight thousand armor or whatever the max is? Oh boy, 
Okay. Yeah, I, I, this is not happening in duels. I, I, I don't think so. I don't. I know. It's, it, re- it requires such a specific set of, of cards, and, and, and you can only do it in wild. But yeah. the point is, uh, this is that's interesting. I, I, yeah. I this is this is going to show up in some way. I, I'm almost positive of it, and th- that's yeah. cool because it's a different style than the current just token or death rattle stuff that 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 druid does, mm-hmm. um, or the the nonsense with the lease and the freaking moon fires. Um, this is cool. I like that card a lot. Next one, Lingering Zombie. Flavor text, one, 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 one. It's a one mana, one, one, undead. With Death Rattle Summon a one, one, disarm zombie. With Death Rattle Summon a one, one, zombie. So that's, that's three, one, ones in one. Four, yeah. one. Yeah. Seems good. Like, Seems good. It's also like, I don't know. Yeah, it's three, it's, it's three, three for one. Over this has potential to show up. Yeah. Okay. That's all I'm gonna add. So, <laughs> unending swarm. The flavor text is very cool. Yeah. Uh, it's six mana. Resurrect all friendly minions. This costs two or less. So you you play this, you get a board full of garbage. Yeah. I mean, I don't hate it, but it seems a bit. Like not great. It needs, it needs. It would need extra support. Okay. Next one is Wither, two mana nature spell. Choose a minion. Each friendly undead steals one attack and health from it. I guess. I don't know. It's a way to. Nah. Next. Nadox. <laughs> Battle cry destroy friend the undead. Your minions gain its attack. Hmm. The is that. Seven mana rush. Yeah, that guy, the, the gain six armor, six six, he's undead. Uh, so is Anubricon, the seven seven undead. You could potentially be uh, making some, if you've oh. got a big board, and you could just like dump a ton of seven attacks on something already. There's something there. There's yeah. something to it. You just need undead, right? In the token deck, and that, that, that's difficult. I don't think yeah. that's, that's uh, something reliable we'll see, so I pass on this one. Okay. Nerubian Fire, 2 mana, 2 3 undead, battle cry with friendly undead. Died after your last turn, summon a 2 2 Nerubian. That's a lot of stats for 2 drop. The requirement is undead stuff though. Yeah. And I... we're no longer at Death Knight where it's super easy because the hero power makes undead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you have to invest a bit to get your undead. Yeah. So I'm, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. So far, I don't see it. Like the hero, the druid heroes don't really support and that well. But the card is yeah, very strong. I, I, are, there, are there any neutral cards that are, you know, token oh, yeah. undeady things? Yeah, I could see it working then if that's the case. But we'll we'll get there. Okay. Uh, now that I'm real quick, holistically looking at Hunter, looks like there's a lot of spell arcane things going on. Yeah. Um, which is. You know, are, are we gonna? When are we gonna get Zuljin in here um, <laughs> uh, later on? But that's not there yet. Uh, but just just holistically, that's what, what I, I, I'm noticing. And we got the Silver Moon Forest Riders, the first minion. It's a two mana, two three with battle cry. Give all arcane spells in your hand spell damage plus one. Problem with that is you don't have spells in your hand usually. And there's a much better card. Uh, later on, uh, the, the, the another minion, the three mana, three four. Calderon Brightwing with Battle Cry give all arcane spells in your deck spell damage plus one. That seems better than the one in your hand, right? Um, no? I don't know. Just having this stuff now is usually better yeah, than but, having stuff later. You're right, but Hunter doesn't. Is there a draw in here anywhere? Yeah. I don't no, know. There, there are really okay, good, good reasons to get the spell damage quickly. Yeah, I hear you. I, mean, I think they're well, both going to feed in. It's good that those two both are going to feed into three cards that are all new for Hunter. Um, first yeah. one is a four mana uh, arcane spell, Eversong Portal. This one reads Summon one four four links with Rush, improved by spell damage. Uh, the next one is Conjured Arrow. So you get two. two? Two four two. four linkses and then three four four linkses if you have spell damage on that thing. Yeah, that's nice. So the next conjured that's... arrow. 
Conjured Arrow is a deal two, uh, two mana uh, arcane spell, deal two damage to a minion, mana for six, draw that many cards. Okay, well, there it is. That's that's the reload you need at the second half of the game. And then uh, Ricochet Shot is the final one. This is awesome. A one mana arcane spell, deal one damage to three random enemies. But if you bump that up to two, it's six damage, and you bump that up to three, it's nine damage for one mm -hmm. mana. That's really these, strong. These are all really good spells, and this makes me... And, and then the last one here, Alderaan Brightwing, three mana, three, four, Battlecry, you have all arcane spells, and your deck spell damage plus one. So mm -hmm. he is the guy for later. And, yep. uh... Yeah. Like, this makes me immediately think quest line. Oh yeah, Hunter with Arcane Flux. Oh yeah, Questline with Arcane Flux, really awesome. and then also like a brand. I mean, that, that the Questline brand deck that's out mm -hmm. there is really strong, and a lot of these are going to slot into that Ricochet shot. That's absolutely going in there. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Wow. Well, yeah, the, the, this this has got a shot. This 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 Arcane thing, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. There's there's a world in which all five of those show up. Fun fun thing is, Mage also gets arcane stuff, which I think is also a shot. So we're gonna mm. have an arcane time. Okay, nice. So let's move on. Next, uh, shock spitter. Yeah. Two mana, yeah. two two beast battle cry deal one damage, improved by a hero attacks. This game, this can potentially one shot your opponent someday. <laughs> it probably won't though. And but it, it sounds solid. I don't see a deck for it, but it sounds solid. <laughs> Yeah, if this was in like Bonk Shaman, that'd be a different story. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, please, please, Dad, get, remove Pillage the Fallen from Shaman. Seriously. So, <laughs> next up, Weapon Hope of Quelthalas. After mana. Hero, six mana, four to weapon. After hero attacks, give your minions plus one plus one wherever they are. Ooh, that's that's spicy. Strong, that, but expensive. So we're not going to see it in a deck, I don't think. But it no, will show up randomly it's... sometimes and do and cause some havoc. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it's yeah, it's a bit of a win more card in duels, mm -hmm. I think. Okay. Uh, three more cards uh, for Hunter. We got. Keen Eye Spotter is the next one. It's a 3-4, three, 3 mana. Whenever <laughs> your hero attacks a minion, set its health to 1. Okay. <laughs> please read the flavor uh, text. Please, of please. Keen Eye Spotter? Okay, the Keen Eye Spotter uh, flavor text is No Rexar, not the face, the minion right there. Yep, that one, one right. Rexar, no! Okay, so uh, <laughs> Rexar's mix, missing some some shots. Uh, this, is, this is Rexar's spider, uh, uh, sniper spider. Sniper spotter. Uh, so, oops. Oh, but that's cool. I guess. Uh, I mean, you're going to be taking the attack damage, but you can uh, remove whatever. You can remove the biggest thing you want. Mm -hmm. So, cool. Candle shot synergy. There we yeah. go. Oh, candle shot. Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> Scotch tamer. Okay. That was awesome. Two and two to undead battle grind crafter custom zombies. Nice. Yes. Zombies are coming back. Yeah. And they get their own art. Do you see that? They, they don't seem to they have, have the art. art from the card you pick first, but they seem to have this one. Oh, yeah. So it's like a custom little put together thing. So it's not the Isn't original. Isn't that just one. Leok, Misha, and Huffle in one? Yeah, it's like a, a three in one. Okay, so we're going to start seeing that card around again a little bit. I don't know if it'll be good. That The, the zombies are nice. I tr I've tried to make Deathstalker Rexar work. And it has not been. It's it's too slow. But at two mana, maybe. Um, like I've had a run, one or two runs where Rexa was really good. Yeah. And yeah, like zombies can be very strong. So I don't see a deck where you put this in though. So it gives this a low chance, even though the card's cool. Yeah. So next, the arcane quiver. Oh, another arcane card that was revealed really earlier. Discover a spell from your deck if it's arcane, give it spell damage plus one. Okay, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. You discover yeah, yeah. like the Lynx thing, turn two. Then you buff it again with the two, three on turn three, and then you summon three Lynxes with Rush on four. Something yeah. like that. Sure. 
That's fine. Seems that, okay. That, that, that's, that's totally reasonable. Next, we are arriving at Mage. Three mana spell. Vast Wisdom. Discover two spells that cost three or less and swap their cost. Okay, I don't know if swapping their cost is necessary. I guess you could get like a secret for one mana. But I don't know. I mean, you get the... one. Of, you can look at, at it like this. You get one cost reduced spell that's really efficient to play. And one cost increased spell that's shit to play. And then you just don't play the shit one. And you got yeah. something good. But this costs yeah. three mana. So three mana. This is only good if you get your discover passives. I, I yeah. don't think this is that strong of a card. No. Okay, next one is Energy Shaper. This is a four mana three five minion with battle cry transform all spells into your hands into ones that cost two more. They keep their original cost. Okay, they love those those words. Um it's not good. <laughs> Right? Is it? Not duels. Uh, it is very troll. Yeah. But you're gonna yeah. transform your treasures, so no. Yeah, you don't want that. Prismatic uh, Elemental. Very good. We'll see this. This card is amazing. Yeah. Two mana, one three elemental battle cry discover spell from any class, it costs one less. This will Any do class. some real BS. You can discover the Scourge with this and fill your board of undead Ooh. on turn 8. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. So, uh, this can do all sorts of shenanigans. I'll definitely run this card, it's fun. Yeah, that's, that's that sounds excellent. And that cheap card, reload, get crazy stuff, that sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. Next. The next one is a nine mana legendary with only Grand, five attack and seven health. Grand that... Magister Rameth. Rameth. And his battle cry reads, recast each spell you've cast this game that didn't start in your deck. No. This is weird. I love Why it. Is that nine mana? <laughs> because we have infinite arcane. Oh <laughs> my god. Uh, Let's go! No, no, because he's not gonna be good, but he's hilarious. Like, you could do such crazy b BS. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I love Discover Mage, and. And then I cast lots of stuff that didn't start in my deck, but he's probably still not gonna be good. Not a no. nine. No, he's, but but he's it's funny. Like, oh, he's funny for sure. But you know, in duels at nine mana, you need to be winning the game, and this is just uh, maybe winning the game. And but, I, but, it, but, well, the target speed, but what? But Yog. <laughs> but Yog, it is a little Yogi. But for the love of Yog, absolutely. <laughs> a little Yogi. Uh, it's a it's a cool card. It's a weird one. Uh, but yeah, next card, uh, three mana, three, two, arc splitter, death rattle, add two arcane bolts to your hand. And as a reminder, an arcane bolt is a one mana arcane spell that reads deal two damage, mana thirst, eight, deal three instead. Okay. Yeah. That's, this is just solid. Good card. Yeah. Late period. Is useful early. Yeah, it's if you're playing good. an arcane mage, you're going to play this. Mm-hmm. Just like the and next I one, think too. Arcane Mage has a chance because we get a lot of arcane stuff like this one. Magister's Apprentice, two mana three, two arcane spells cost one less. Mm -hmm. Solid. It's still Sorcerer's Apprentice, but almost. Yeah, and it doesn't <laughs> say but one. not less than one, so you can drop him down to zero mm -hmm. on that, it looks like. So that's yep. pretty cool. You and can arcane machine worm. gun some bolts. Oh, yeah. This next one is a one mana, one two minion that adds an arcane bolt to your hand. This is just totally super, great. super solid one drop. Like, this is one of the best one drops I've ever seen, honestly. Yeah. That's good. This is, like, I, yeah. I only have praises for this. This is an amazing card, very powerful. And then Vexilus, the next one after that. He only casts um, the spells once. It's Schmexilus that casts the copy. 
<laughs> so what he's reading is the flavor text for this card, which is a five mana three five elemental that reads your arcane ca- arcane spells cast twice. Um, so you're going to be punching some people in the face with some hard stuff with that. That's yeah. Or you just uh, uh, copy well, like uh, it's going to do a ton of things. This can be used like in a combo thing with a like, Vexilus, and then you play the uh, Magister's Apprentice, and then you play some spell damage, and you just blast someone into into orbit with your arcane bolts. Yeah. But he could I also mean... do other things, right? He could double up your uh, Primordial Glyph, for example. He could, um, yeah, you'd have to make him stick, but if maybe you have a Orb of Revelation and you get some, like, this is Guardian spell, right, that summons these 5-6 taunts that are untargetable. You could copy that. I think it's an arcane spell. Like, it is. you can do a few other things, but it mostly looks like a combo machine. Maybe yeah. there'll be an arcane combo mage. We just blow I, up I, the I, opponent. I mean, twenty health is not a lot. So you yeah, could... I bet it's gonna happen, but it'll yeah. only be it'll be good for the first few turns. I, I we'll have to see what buckets changes happen. Yeah, I mean, then you get turn. arcane flux, and then you become like a value controlling mage. Oh, that's cool. That's a good idea. Yeah, that be sounds like a very solid like deck archetype you combo in the early games. Then you just become a grindy mage. Yeah. You can even okay. run the Ember Caster, right? And get even more. Yeah. You don't need to run uh, Infinite Arcane. Oh, yeah, there's, there's tons of possibilities there. Yeah. I really wonder where Ember Caster went. No one's playing that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the one I was talking about. Arcane Defenders, 8 mana, 5. 8 mana Arcane Spell, summon 2, 5, 6 Golems with Taunt. They can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. Yeah, uh, just... but I mean, th- you can only pull that off if. Uh, your Vexilus lives a turn. Right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's going to be your number one target. Your significant cost reduction. Mm-hmm. Vexilus lives a turn, and this card uh, is not good unless you uh, cheat it out somehow. Yeah. Okay. Um, we already talked about Arcane Bolt, so... Okay, yeah. I, I, I definitely think that the Arcane thing's got a shot with me. Yes. On to Paladin, which looks like they went with some dragons a little bit. Mm-hmm. Daring Drake. Oh, and a 4 4 Ash with Battlecry, if you're holding a dragon, gain plus one, plus one. Okay. Kind of similar to Tent cool. Treasure, right? In mm-hmm. Warrior. Sure. Maybe. I mean, it'll show up in buckets, uh, presumably, but I don't think you're starting to. This one is solid. The next card, though, is really cool. It's Flight of the Bronze. It's a one-mana spell. Discover a dragon. Mana Thirst 7. Summon a 5-5 Drake with Taunt. That's nice. So Oops. you actually have a reason to play it later in the game. Yeah. That's a really powerful Mana Thirst. Yeah. It's, that's nice. really powerful. So um, if there's a reason to run a dragon deck, this will be in their guarantee. This is very good. The next time one. Four mana, three five dragon with battle cry until the end of your next turn. Dragons you summon gain taunt and divine shield. So you can set this up on turn four, and then on five you play uh, play the staring drake, and then it has divine shield yeah. with rush. But you want to set yeah. this up on turn six essentially, and then on seven you play both of your flights of the bronze, right? And oh, because maybe your duels you just have play. one. Yeah. Like you want to yeah. set this up for a, t- uh, for a turn when you can summon two dragons at least. Well, either that or, or on the same turn. Right on turn six, yeah, and then on turn seven you play Anachronos, uh, yeah. the seven mana eight eight dragon, which is the legend one of the legendaries for Paladin. The battle cry: Send all other minions two turns into the future. <laughs> which uh, they just go dormant. They go poop. I, I watched. I did watch the wrong key reveal poof. for this one. They yeah. go poof, and then they come back in two turns. So you got two turns to win. Um, My board is too, I have too many minions. Poof. Oh, yeah. If they, yeah, if they don't have enough... Uh, if there isn't board space and they're going to come back, they, they just disappear. without. Because they come back on the Paladin player's turn, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So, yeah, I mean, that's a deep control thing. There hasn't been a late game Paladin yet, but if there it's is... It's also then... like a... Like a... bit like a Vanish and he can go face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I could see this in like a Humble Blessings. Yeah. Paladin, I, I seriously hope Humble Blessings goes away. Yeah, <laughs> so... but... Uh, that, that's where this slots in, for sure. Yeah. Next, Feast of the Famine. One mana, I give you here plus the attack this turn, and with mana first, thirst for you, also get lifesteal. Okay. Maybe. Is I mean, attack three paladin? attack for Maybe. one mana? Like, that's solid. That's... Like, that's a bit like Rock Biter, but better. Mm -hmm. And then you get lifesteal sometimes, and that's like, really nice. Is this something a paladin wants to do? Not really. <laughs> but by itself, it looks good. Um, that looks like it feeds into the next four cards. It looks like they've had a bit of like synergies. There, a couple yeah. of like planned like. Uh, cards they revealed uh, uh, these sure. cards. They revealed all cards like in packages. Okay. Um, so, so I'm just going to read the yeah. next four okay. together because they all look like they're they're related. Uh, the next one is uh, a three mana holy spell, seal of blood, give a minion plus three plus three and divine shield, deal three damage to your hero. I like the uh, the consistency with the numbers on that. That's nice. Please next one is sang <laughs> also sanguine holy. soldier. It's also holy, yeah. Uh, next one is sanguine soldier. It's a one mana two one minion with divine shield, battle cry, deal two damage to your hero. Next is Blood Crusader. This is a six mana five five minion with Battle Cry. Your next Paladin minion this turn costs health instead of mana. And the final one uh, that's related to all this is a two mana Holy Spell for Quelth Loss. Give a friendly minion plus three attack. Give your hero plus two attack this turn. Um, so if you got four Quelth Loss down with Feast and Famine, you're potentially doing five plus life steal. And if you have a weapon too, you know you got more on top of that. So yeah, interesting. You got damage, and then you healing yourself up. Maybe I don't know if this is this is this is gonna work though. Like, I don't see any support for this. Um, like weapon paladin, but, maybe. Like, but that's, that's this it. guy will show up in <laughs> if avenging arm is still a thing. We'll just drop this on one. You can all the damage thing, right? But uh, that's about it. Yeah. So, so next we have. Blood Matriarch Li Liadrin. After you summon a minion with less attack than this, give it Divine Shield and Rush. So I really want to buff now, the Liadrin. Yeah, we talked about this the last one. Where yeah. It's, it's going to be really hard to make that happen. I mean, we've seen a few more cards, right? We could give her... For Quelthalas. And then she has 6 sure. attack, and then everything you summon just gets Rush, Divine Shield. Or Seal sure. of Blood. You need but to buff it. Remove. It's only got two health. You, 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 this this needs more support. You can't just run Blood Matrix Liadrin and then and then make it work. Yeah, you need to, you need to run a bunch of buffs, and you need to play on later turns. Yeah. So Shadow okay. Blood Death arrive at Priest. Yeah. Priest. Does Priest have a package? Not There's maybe. always packages, I think. This is the Shadow oh, like Undead package. Shadow Undead thing. thing. Yeah, okay. The priest cards look really good. Okay, so yeah, Shadow Wonder Death is deal Wood, five mana Shadow Spell, deal, deal two damage to all enemies, which includes the face. If a friendly undead died after your last turn, deal two more. So this is like four damage to all enemies for five mana, that's very strong. That's incredibly strong. That with Eerie Stone, that's great. Need to have undead to die though. Mm -hmm. So, Brittle Bones, oops. Well, yeah, and also, I mean, they are on Brittle Bones. Are those skeletons undead? They must be, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then... <laughs> oh, from the swamp. Three... Sure. And there's three undead minions that Priest has announced, uh, that have been announced for Priest mm -hmm. in addition to that. So, you know. Um, which uh, feeds into this next card, Undying Allies, a zero mana shadow spell. After you play an undead this turn, give it Reborn, which is a Info perfect zero. card to play... For zero, which is great, that's like you know that's get a free wonderful. reborn, uh, which is especially nice because two of the undead minions for priests both have death rattles on them. The first is Mind Eater. This is a two mana three two undead minion. Death rattle. Add a copy of a card in your opponent's deck to your hand. Okay. 
be yeah. embraced. Um, was, we had this effect in the past, but never on a competitive stat line like this. Yeah. So this seems good. Yeah, like Crystalline Oracle is like a one mana one one. Yeah. And the uh, other one's like a four mana four three. So two three two. Yeah. Okay. It just keeps on slotting in, but it's nothing. It's nothing special. Yeah. Agree. Um, Anime dead. Resurrector friendly mean it costs the others. Shadow spell for one. Mm. Gotta have eh. to Sounds bad. In duels at least. Next. Bone caller. Four mana two four taunt with death friendly res resurrect friendly undead that died this game. Uh it all depends on can pre if priest <laughs> can run undead. Yeah, how many undead do you get? So far I haven't seen proof well it could be this next one the next one's haunting nightmare it's a three mana three three undead with a death rattle haunt a card in your hand when you play it summon a three three soldier so i mean imagine you get you know haunting nightmare a second one off a of bone collar that is potentially two free three threes that you're getting it's extra six six in stats but it'll take you forever to get there i don't know seems like an okay card yeah. But it's a death rattle. It's got to die to make yeah. it happen. Yeah, if, if you pull it off, absolutely. Free stats. Um, it's just extremely slow stats. Um, next card is a four mana shadow spell, Grave Digging. This one says draw two cards, costs one if a friendly undead died after your last turn. Um, obviously, that's awesome if you get it down to one, but Priest has already got enough draw and that's reload. I don't know if this is necessary. Incredible draw for one mana. Wow. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this card just looks amazing. Once again, depends on undead or not. Yeah. Probably not. But this next, this next one, you, you, why don't you read this note? This will feed into everything. High Cultist Basilef. 5-3-5 with Battlecry. Resurrect all friendly undead that died after your last turn. Hmm. Yeah. Get a bunch of death rattle undeads and get value. How how you're gonna live though, I don't know. Hmm. We need some it, undead with torn and stuff like that. Oh. Uh that, that that that's super conditional. Uh, all of these undead, I, I I'm not convinced at all for priest yet. We'll have to play around with it. But I think priest and duels has got better stuff to do. Yeah. Um but this this next card could totally show up. This is really interesting. Crystal Smith Cultist. It's a one mana one two battle cry. If you're holding a shadow spell, gain plus one plus one. It's nice on early game turn one turn two. Not so great later in the the runs though. Um, mm -hmm. But you know, always like cheap cards that do things. Yeah, like and the, the last the, one, Shadow yeah. Priests usually There's don't that. run many minions, so I don't know. Exactly. Probably not this guy. Useful. What's this last card? Explain this one. Hello, Darkness, my old friend. Six mana, six, six. Undead with Battle Cry permanently add a Vision of Darkness to your hand. Vision of Darkness is a three mana shadow spell. It lets you discover a shadow spell. And it reads. So it's a three mana shadow spell that says discover a shadow spell. And this stays, in, stays your in your hand. So when you play it, it presumably doesn't disappear and it just takes up a slot in your hand. Yeah. But it works like uh, twin spells. So if this gets counter spelled, it's still gone. Oh, that's good to know. That's good to know. And Something I assume like that. Blade Master Okani can counter it also. Probably yes. Yeah. I'm pretty okay. sure that's how it works. And if uh, like uh, that Warlock spell that uh, Immolate or whatever, the one that lights all your cards on fire, you have three turns to play it. Hmm, or interesting. Like, what about know. like if you're... I don't know. We'll have to see. If you accidentally discard it somehow. I don't know. I, I, I'm curious about this. I don't think it's good, by the way. Just as a, for the record, that's a lot of mana. It's good for like a really, 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 really late slow priest deck, but I, I think there's better ways for priests to play in duels. Yeah, but I'm going to try. This is cool. Mm -hmm. It's a cool card. It's so... a very interesting card. Very nice art, too. It's also very nice with like your Orb of Revelation for the discard stuff. So yeah, and the art, yes, cool stuff. Okay. So next, Ghost so Strike, we arrive at Rogue. 
Rogue, and Rogue, it looks like it has a concoction package. So let's talk oh, about the non-concoction so cool. ones. And then Ghost we'll do that like, as a... Yeah. Okay. Deal one damage combo draw card. Goes into combo Rogue stuff that I tried. Beautiful. And that deck's pretty Beautiful. nice. So yeah. Gone Fishing. It's, uh, it's That's an excellent, excellent card. It's a Very good. Solid Rogue card. So do you want to skip the concoction stuff? Yeah, let's do. Let's do. Let, let's come back to it. Let's do these uh, last four, and then we'll come back to the five concoction cards. There's death rattle. There's a death rattle package here. Scourge yeah. Illusionist for mana four four death rattle. Add a four four copy of another death rattle in your deck to your hand. It costs four less. That's many fours. Yeah, it is a lot of fours. I'm happy that they're staying consistent with the numbers, though. <laughs> um, uh, Seems good. It's yeah, especially good I, with they, small death rattles. Oh, yeah, 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 because you can get them for basically free. You can get a um, zero mana and a ruby neck, for example. That is comes out as a 4-4. Four, four. So... Mm. Yeah, that's cool. I like that card. I've, I've been wanting Death Rattle Rogue. I've, I've seen some people messing around with it with uh, mm -hmm. Vandar, um, but I think that it, it, it's it's a cool, cool thing. I, I like that. Yeah, I uh, agree. Next one is Rotten, Rotten Rodent. Rodent. Two mana, yeah, two, one... Undead Beast, that would probably reduce the cost of all death rattle cards in your deck by one. Sure. Sure. If death rattles take off, that that's that's totally fine. I don't know if it's good, but it's fine. Uh, um, and then next is Noxus, Noxious Infiltrator. This is a four mana, two, five, uh, poisonous battle cry. If a friendly undead died after your last turn, deal one damage to a minion. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so you can kill something. As long as it doesn't have to divine shield. Yeah. Just solid. It's a bit like Wild yeah. Spine Slayer, but not quite. Yeah, it just doesn't it have any better. it doesn't have any utility after that. I guess it's good if you get it's uh, still poisonous. Yeah. I guess that's true. Um okay, what's the last one? Shadow of Demi Shadow of Demise. Shadow spell, each time you cast a spell, transform this into a copy of it. No mana cost on it. Is this basically just the same as the uh, it, the Death Knight card, the one that copies? But you don't get it you don't get it back, you can only do it one time, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So but this is this seems great. You can deck you can copy treasures. Oh, yeah, you can. And if you don't, it's just an extra eviscerate or something. Like, this will always yeah. be something useful. Yeah, that's a really good card. That's this just seems good. Excellent, excellent card. Is that it? Okay. Okay, so the let's next talk about the concoctions. It can also become a concoction. Yeah. Are you so ready? Five you really concoctions, it looks like. We got slimy concoction, dreadful concoction, bubbling concoction, so, hazy concoction, and gleaming concoction. So what do concoctions do? You get yeah. Yeah, here concoctors, one and a one two battle cry at a random concoction to your hand. Incredibly good one drop. So concoctions are three cost spells that do a thing that's worth kinda three mana. Like for example, one is just an arcane intellect, the gleaming here, draws two cards. One is uh deal three damage, which is a bit underpowered for three mana, but that's fine. Then slimy concoction, summon a random three drop. Dreadful, destroy random enemy minions. It's just a deadly shot straight up. And one is add a card to your hand from another class and it costs three less. So this is okay. mana neutral. Mm -hmm. But the kicker with this stuff is that if you get a second concoction, they mix together and they combine the effect. So and you, they still cost three. They still cost three, yes. Okay. So and if you get a third, and, uh, does it do it? No, it does, does only it, the first okay. two. And uh, you can combine the same type as well. Like you can get a three mana draw four cards. You can get three mana deal mm. six. Three mana summon two random three cost minions. Stuff like that. And okay. uh, so that means there are 25 different combinations. Uh -huh. And it's just. Uh, yeah, you can do all sorts of stuff. So let's go through the cards. Mm. First, of concoct yeah. a random concoction to your hand. One mana, one, two. I said it already, but it's okay. Next potion build. Two mana discover two concoctions. That is really okay. good. Like you can pick you and choose, choose what one. you need. 
Do they and, automatically combine? So yeah. let's say you play Potion Belt on turn two after having played Concoctor on turn one. Will one of them randomly combine? Like, how, how does that work? I'm pretty sure the first one you discover combines with the concoction you already have, and then you get another one. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's okay. how it works. Like, there's no confirmation, but then that just makes sense. Understood. So next, Ghoulish Alchemist, 2 mana, 3, 2 undead. With Battlecry, your next concoction costs zero. Oh. Great. He knows how to handle potions. Apparently. And Throwing I threw it on the ground. The ground. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and this one on the related cards, it actually shows all of the mixed concoctions. I don't know why only this one does. But what? There's so can... many. It yeah, can't be funny. all of them. There's 25 well, There's a lot of possibilities. them, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's 10 missing. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I don't know why. So next, Vile Apothecary. 3 mana, 2, 4 at the end of your turn. It's an undead. At the end of your turn... Sorry. Add a random concoction to your hand. Okay. It triggers twice, it's nuts. If not, yeah. it's still a 3 minute 2 4 that gave you concoction, which is not great, but not the worst. Concoctions are good. So, and the last, and one, the last potion one is master. insane. Potion That's Master cool. Putricide. 2 mana 1 4 undead after minion dies. Add a concoction to your hand. You can get so many concoction with this guy. Like the potential is enormous. And that, and that's also enemy minions because it doesn't say after yeah, one. Yeah, anything that dies. dies. Wow, like, that's what? cool. That's really neat. I, I I like this concoction package a lot. That's really fun. It's I don't really know if it's cool super stuff. powerful though. It, it, if if there's some way of like ramping it up and stepping it up, it could totally go off like locations did for Demon Hunter. Or like relics did for Demon Hunter, um, but in duels, the concoction concoctions by themselves, I don't think are quite strong enough. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But the cards are amazing. I, I, but, I like them. Yeah, yeah. But you definitely need to combine some, and if the if the new bucket system doesn't deliver, mm -hmm. and we can't consistently combine the concoctions, then they're not going to be good. Yeah. So moving on. Impressions, we arrive at Shaman. Shadow spell, four mana, draw two minions for each, it costs five or more. Summon a two, three spirit with taunt. Good. Uh, yeah, okay, big, big shaman, shaman support. Moving well, it on. It looks like much of everything is going That's on. That's not something so. that happens in duels, so no. Mm, I can't see that happening, but. From the other side. Summon so a copy of each minion in the hand, they attack random enemy minions, then die. Big Death Rattle Shaman. Yeah, but like, it's just enemy minions, it's not... Huh? Uh, yeah, they don't attack faces. Okay. Next, uh, the Big Death Rattle for Shaman that we were talking about. 8 mana, 3, 8 undead with taunt, lifesteal, reborn, and Death Rattle deal 3 damage to random enemy. That's a lot of stats, a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of healing, lots of stats, a lot of effects, a mouthful. Not much, not much, much attack though, 3 8. Now, this is a guy that you'd like from the other side, right? Yeah, because yeah, he's reborn. Even you get it back, yeah, you get it back. Um, and you immediately heal and you do more damage and heal again. Okay, he uses. <clears throat> It's big it needs, and it's cool. It needs a deck, right? The card, <laughs> the card is fine, but it needs a deck. It we'll see deck. about That's that. Exactly. And like the, the next one too, the nine mana Overlord Drakuru. Uh, it's a six With eight Overlord legendary one. rush wind fury. After this attacks and kills a minion, resurrect it on your side. Awesome. But my question is with all four of these big shaman cards. Is how do you get there? How are you gonna live yeah. until nine mana? How are you gonna live until eight mana in duels? I, I don't see I don't see that happening. With there are a few spells. You gotta draw real real good. You gotta you gotta be god tier draws to make that happen. Yeah, I don't see it at all, but it's cool stuff. We it's do cool have stuff. battle it's fine, cries. Man. No, right? There are no battle mm -hmm. cries there. So Finley can't discover these. Too bad. No. Oh, I have yeah. to look. Oh, let's look back at the paladin real quick if Finley can discover anything. 
I'm just curious. But there must be more cards. Uh, he can just... discover Daring Drake. He can discover Time Warden. Or no, how, how, what's the Finley one? Does that cost what? How much does it cost? Finley has no restriction except Battle Cry and Class. Okay. He could discover Anachronos. I could discover Anachronos. And then he can Shadow Walk the Anachronos. That's awesome. <laughs> That's actually pretty fucking awesome. You can also discover <laughs> Sanguine Soldier and kill yourself. Yeah, you could be. <laughs> <laughs> or the Blood Crusader, same thing. Yeah, yeah just do damage yourself. Uh, the only the only one with the battle cry in the new shaman set. Uh, there's two. And they will they'll come up in a second. Um, but the next one for shaman is Harkener of Dread. It's a five mana two two undead uh, taunt death rattle. Summon a six six undead with taunt. So it's like, got holy the, uh, shit. That's that's cool. It's death the, rattle uh, shaman. Death rattle like this is count is so good. Like compared to that. Um, the Demon Seed guy, what is it called again? Like, the, the, Acolyte, the the one one, yeah. the five eight. Like this that, is so much guy. better because it's taunt. Yeah, the fact that it's the taunt, it, yeah, it forces it, you to like pop this it. Guy, taunt re and reborn, like taunt reborn, and this, uh, it's that's nuts. A lot. That's a lot. Yeah, it's an interesting thing that's in Shaman. It's not really yeah. the kind of thing that they usually have. Not yet, but Shaman did have some different stuff in the past, like the. Thing that kills and revives a minion, for example, oh. and the spell that gives a minion death rattle is summon this. Like this is a cl very classic mm -hmm, shaman mm -hmm. spell that never That's really right. saw appropriate support. And while we maybe get that now, a scourge troll death rattle is given to this minion trigger twice. Given to this minion because it doesn't yes. have a minion yet. And it it's, a, it's a one mana one three undead mm -hmm. uh, epic, and that relates to the next three cards in a row because they all give death rattles mm -hmm. um first one is a three mana shadow spell shadow suffusion give your minions death rattle deal three damage to a random random enemy that's fun that is a bloodlust uh, kind of that is and if you can pop it twice with a uh, scourge troll or uh, mm -hmm. uh something that's that's neat and then the next one is the five mana uh, three six undead Murloc legendary rot gill battle cry. Give your other minions death rattle. Give your minions plus one plus one. Interesting. So it could potentially you have to play other stuff after this, but then uh, it's just sort of board buffing from the grave. Hmm. And then the final one is a uh, death weaver aura two mana shadow spell. Give a minion death rattle. Summon two three two zombies. Overload one. Okay. Yep. Okay, so you're, you're dealing to this. Yeah. Uh, and you get four three two zombies. Four three two zombies. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's a combo. And it's really really scary. Yeah, and if mummy magic, I, I guess the mummy magic wouldn't hit scourge yeah, troll wouldn't or do wouldn't anything. hit things that are given to them. But um, man, is Baron Rivendare making an appearance in Shaman with stuff like that? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Next, the unliving champion, know. unlive a little. Three mana, three two undead. If Battlecraft, your friend, the undead died after your last turn, summon two three two zombies. If that triggers, that is a lot of stats. On turn yeah, it's three. just incredibly, incredibly difficult to pull off on turn three. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, the next one is Warlock. And oh, there's some cool cards in Warlock. Devour of Souls. Awesome. Awesome. Anyways, we'll get to it in a minute. <laughs> Infantry Reanimator. Six mana, four, four. Battlecry, Resect, Friendly, Undead, Give it Reborn. Seems super inconsistent and random. Probably trash. Next, yeah. Shallow Grave. Trigger friendly minions, death rattle, and destroyed. Ooh, double Sure, do you remember Habea's uh, corpses? Yeah. I guess, doesn't this go well, go hard with that? Uh-huh. Uh-huh, and there's like, um, that, that naval mines, uh, yeah. uh, special delivery thing that could happen with this. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Naval Miner, this is scary, true. Twist Head Nether, Tether. I always keep reading Twisting Nether here. Four mana yeah. shadow spell, destroy a minion, give its stats to random undead in your hand. Okay. That is strong. 
Undead decks, maybe. Who knows? Next. Darkandrathia. 8 mana, 6-6 six, six undead with lifesteal and at the end of your turn deal 6 damage to the enemy hero. I like that. They're really going so this at is the, the end guy. of your turn thing. This yeah, is the guy you, you want to resummon. Oh god, I pressed the thing. With this guy. Right? Because he's an undead. Which guy? Wait, who with the infantry like reanimator. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, give it reborn so you get a second mm -hmm. one. But that's, you know, get there big at the end of the game. But sure. I mean, and also just... you haven't played... Okay, dropping this guy on 8, like that's very risky. It's just a 6-6. Six, six. He does yeah, heal you for 6. Dying. But like this guy alone is bad. He needs support, like the reanimator. But the re reanimator needs to consistently hit the Drathia. Yeah, the you don't have any other undead. But yeah, so that's, I think that's, that's not going to work. No. But it's nice. <laughs> it's, no. it's a cool, interesting card that could... With the right support, could do things. The one of souls, one minute, one three undead. After friendly minion dies, gain his death rattle. This is a legendary with yep. like, the sickest start of all time, I think. And it is interesting. Um, could you do a. a again, Naval Mines special delivery thing and give like Devour of Souls like six Naval Mines and then hit Shallow Grave? And, and pop it twice is that possible or is that too much is that is that, is that too many cards and uh, make it impossible to have i haven't thought about stuff like that this is probably some well, disgusting stuff you can do yeah because if you can stack up death rattles and this is, since it's only at one mana it feels like it's a, a world in which that could happen mm -hmm. that's interesting luckily shallow grave is not a shadow spell so you can't get like a free one without tamsin or uh, eerie stone won't do anything with that i just realized um, the next card is Amorphous Slime. It's a 5 mana 5-3. Five, Battlecry, discard a random undead. Uh, Death Rattle, summon a copy of it. That's interesting. It's a targeted discard based off of type. I don't know if I remember Once that. again, that's really good with him. Dark Hunter Thea. Yeah. 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 The thing is, um, then he's there's... also gone from hand. <laughs> Sure, but it also, Amorphous Slime, also, I'm just going to call this out right now, I'm looking ahead, Walking Dead is a 3-mana 2-5 uh, Warlock minion with Taunt in his Undead, and it reads, mm -hmm. if you discard this minion, summon it. And that's going, we're going to see that in day one um, in the discard deck, yes. and it's the last Warlock card oh, the last one. Walking Dead. Yeah, yeah. if you discard this, summon it. Because Three mana, another, two five. Uh, silver Wear Golem. Taunt. Yeah, better, yeah that's like an upgrade. That's better than Golem. It's got more stats and it's got Taunt. Are you gonna run both? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, and also Scourge Supply is right beneath it. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. There's this is all discard. I didn't realize there's a whole discard package. I didn't yep. read all these until I. We're going backwards. Okay, so the, the next one is Scourge Supplies. This is a three mana uh, spell. Draw three cards. Choose one to discard. Holy crap! That's incredible in duels. Mm -hmm. And five mana soul barrage shadow spell. When you play or discard this, deal six damage randomly split amongst all enemies. Yeah, okay. Uh, the, the, we play the the other one that just uh, destroys a random menu, uh, random enemy minion mm -hmm. when it's discarded. That is just as good as this. And then five mana savage Ymir jar. <laughs> it's a 7-7 seven, seven Undead with Rush and Battlecry. Discard two cards. Yep. I, wow. Wow. Those are all incredible discard cards. Disco Lock. Jesus. Absolutely. That's good <laughs> stuff, though. That's... Wow. Okay. Warlock got... Good stuff. Cards. But so does Warrior. Let's move on to Warrior. Let's do it. We have Fire Warrior this expansion, and that sounds fucking awesome. Ooh, so, we're starting true. off with Light of the Phoenix. For mana fire spell, draw two cards, cost one less for each damage friendly character. So, we get a new Battle Rage. Yeah. Just uh, less draw, but m cheaper, potentially. Yep. Yeah, probably. Then, Blazing Power, two mana fire spell, give a minion plus one plus one, repeat for each damage friendly character. So the fire Ooh. stuff goes into the enrage stuff. So now we're talking. Now we're hitting for a lot of damage, potentially. Oh. 
And uh, next, fire spell for mana. Sunfire Smithing. Equip a 4 2 sword and give a random minion a hand plus 4 plus 2. That's a lot of stat buffs in hand. And a 4 2 weapon is nothing to sneeze at. So. Yep. You're buffing your old ground with this. Or maybe you're buffing your. What's it called? The weapon? Which weapon? The, the oh, minion the, that turns the, into weapons. Living blade. The, the Living Blade. Living Blade, blade Remonia. That's yeah. the area. Remonia. Remonia. If you hit a Remonia with this, like, holy, holy mother of god. <laughs> that is so much damage. <laughs> Warrior has so many good minions to hit with this, like, even just the 2 mana 1-4 yeah. that has charge when it's enraged, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Like, Captain Galvandra. Yeah. Um, uh, Gromash. I think this card is amazing. That is really good. Next, Sun Fury Champion, 1 and a 1 3. After you cast a fire spell, deal 1 damage to all minions. More enrage, Man. AoE, super good. Wow. 1 mana 1 3s that like are awesome with their text. It is power mm. creep if I've ever seen that. Also, Jeez. look at that odd. Yeah, that's cool. All these Phoenixes, Phoenixes. these are cool. Is, this a, is that a Valkyrie riding a Phoenix? Jesus. I think so. That's, that would be scary. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the, next, the next Thoribolor. Yeah. Thoribolor, yeah, go for it, you read. It's a 4 mana 4 for elemental with Rush and Death Rattle go dormant. And cast a fire spell to revive Thoribolor. Up to two times. Okay. Okay, yeah. It's, a, it's efficient board control, really. Mm -hmm. If this fire thing works. Yeah, and then you also can use it for enrage because you revive him and then you can get a trade, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. so also works there. I don't. I, I doubt we'll see him in play. I mean, he's kind of like a fire rush for you. If you just do a little delivery on that. Do the fire passes make any sense for Warrior? They don't at all because uh, maybe tier two if you're getting. Well, flame waves is not so bad. Flame waves isn't bad. Flame waves okay. If you're not gonna be and playing getting like fire spells stuff. in hand, I mean, is also not bad. Like the, the tier two ones make sense, but you're probably rather going for minion stuff. Mm -hmm. oh, we'll see. And th th there is one more fire spell that is announced. It's Embers of Strength. It's a two mana fire spell that reads uh, Summon two one two guards with taunt. Mana thirst six. Give them plus one plus two. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, 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 this fire deck looks like sort of like a mid range deck. You're going to need to wait a little bit. You're, mm -hmm. you're not going crazy aggro. Um, so that, that would be useful in that. Definitely. Yeah. Again, it looks awesome. So next, last stand, four mana spell, draw a taunt minion, double its stats. Sounds okay. weird and not slow. Great. It's slow and not gonna yes. see play in duels. No. No, disrupt a spell breaker. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> I can't believe they printed this card. It's a five mana four five. At the end of your turn, your opponent discards a spell. Really? I thought they weren't going to be doing that opponent discard nonsense yes. anymore. That is so nasty. Goodbye, Wish. See you oh, next wow. game. I, I don't think it's going to get played because uh, it's too low static. But, but Ancient uh, Reflection. Yeah, it's fun. It's it, the, 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 the dream of but it happening. Been... <laughs> All of them. Uh, ancient, yeah, all, any, anything. A wand of disintegration. Bye, bye. But I mean, well, uh, use it on him. Yeah. Use it on the spellbreaker. <laughs> uh, wow. But yeah, it's too slow. It's 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 too low statted, and it doesn't have any flavor tag. It doesn't have any. It doesn't have a tribe. It doesn't have any other synergies. It's just messing with your opponents. Yeah, but some decks don't even really run many spells early on either. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it's got the potential to totally wreck your opponent's day. It, it, it's not a consistent, powerful card for duels. The next guy, though, Asvid mm -hmm. on the Grand Shield. If you think Battlecry, a 3 mana 3 3 with Battlecry, cast a copy of the last spell your opponent played. Well, that's fun. Yeah, it is. You can copy some, some treasure. I could do but some is it gonna be random? BS. It's going to be random, so. <laughs> like, if your opponent. What is it called again? Like the last spell your opponent cast was the spell f that stays in your hand for three mana and discovers a shadow spell. You get one of those forever. 
It's not nice. <laughs> that is nice. Someone will post a picture, a video of that on uh, on YouTube. Definitely. You I guess guy's fun. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna fine. put him in a deck probably, but he's cool. I want to see him in action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the end of strength. Time. And you talked yeah, about it, yes. About it. And Silver Free Star Wars, we talked about last time. This so is a guy they want you to draw with a double the stats thing, right? So he becomes an 816. Oh, yeah. But oh, yeah. st I'm still not that impressed then. That's still 10 mana and 2 cards. I, I mean, lot, technically right? just one card. So, right, but I mean, the, it, it, if you pull Last Stand on, if you play yeah. Last Stand on 4, it's 4 mana and do nothing, effectively. It's, yes, it's, that's, that is death sentence sometimes. So... But now okay, we're arriving so, at neutral. Yeah, do you have any neutrals you want to call out specifically? I mean, this uh, I really look. This guy looks solid. Like, like Boneflinger. Start, start, start reading them. Start, start talking about stuff. Boneflinger, yeah, battle cry for friendly undead died after your last turn. Deal two damage. Two mana, two three undead. Just a very good baseline undead. Hmm. Let's do some damage. Then, plague spreader. That's cool. Four and a four four undead. Death rattle transformer and a minion in your opponent's hand into a plague, plague spreader. That is disruption. There we go. Yeah, that is. That's, That's really interesting. Wow. Like, you're gonna just... If this guy is in the game, you're just gonna ruin each other's hands. It's gonna be amazing. And sad. Someone's Denathrius? You're gonna destroy yeah. someone's Denathrius with that. That'll be Man, I kind of want to play this. Also, it's a death run. Like, imagine if, the... <laughs> if you trick up this guy a few times, you can just completely turn... The enemy hand into these, and then they turn yours into these, and it's just uh, gonna it's be a like disaster. Everyone's <laughs> just gonna have four mana four force and nothing else. That's a clown fiesta for sure. <laughs> so this card has some potential for shenanigans, but it's probably not good. Right, cool Necronite. Yeah, yeah, it's nothing special. Now this guy will show up because his effect is really good. It's just a three mana two four discover spell. It's completely fine. But if, an, if a friendly undead died after your last turn, it costs two less. That's cool. That's, and that's this really year. good. Yes. Okay, and then... Uh, oh, man. These are going to start running into one another. Um, and I, yeah. I'm, I'm starting to lose it a little bit. So let me, let me, let me, let me read quick and go through uh, and, and call out anything. Ooh, Arms Dealer is kind of fun. It's a one mana, one two undead. After you summon an undead, give it plus one attack. Not yeah, strong, that works well with the hero powers. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, are those ghouls undead? So oh yeah, this uh, works really well two, with two, the two, two ghoul hero charges. power. Becomes oh, two yeah, two that's, ones. It's really that's good. Nice. Uh, it's a good undead. In fact. Infectious Ghoul looks like it's related to Plague Spreader. We got a lot of like disease. Oh, he's like vomiting uh, green bile. That's that's horrifying. I mean, this is Grey Bow. This is without talk. That's Grey Bow. Infectious Ghoul. Yeah. Is. Give it a random friendly minion. Death yeah. Rattle to summon an Infectious Ghoul. Um, could work. Flesh Behemoth, uh, nine mana, four eight undead, taunt, death rattle, summon an undead and summon a copy of it. Or draw another undead and summon a copy of it. This That's okay, good for free. the big shaman, maybe, with the yeah, it is. thingy. But here now, this one I think is very relevant. Foul Egg. Yeah, Foul Egg's good. That one is really good in Druid. Umbral Geist, yeah. probably uh, foul not. Foul Egg is a, is a one mana 0 2 undead with Death oh, yeah. Rattle summon a 3 3 undead chicken. Um, it's gonna show up in. in a. Ba -ba 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 thingy egg. thing. Token Druid. In, 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 in it, it Harvest also... Time. That's. Yeah. Yeah, it, I also would consider running it in a death rattle Elise deck. Um, it's also undead, so it also works with undead synergy. And the chicken is also undead, so this will trigger your if a friendly undead has died stuff right. pretty consistently right. for a long time. So uh, Banshee is good. I think uh one if you mana, actually have a one. yeah. One mana, two, one undead, death rattle, give a random friendly undead, plus two, plus one. Yeah, that's excellent. If you have an you're, undead you're... deck, like this card seems very solid. Yeah, and the unholy uh, death knight deck. That's mm -hmm. like a token -y thing. That's great. Uh, Bone Lord Frostwhisper <laughs> is interesting. This is a six mana, six, six undead. Uh, death rattle for the rest of the game. The first card you draw each turn costs zero. You die in three turns. Your first card each Yikes. turn. Yikes. Yikes. Not, not draw. 
Oh, oh, draw, draw your first card you play, so you could have had it set up already. You could already mm -hmm. have your cards in your hand. Oh. Um. Okay, there's combo there. I don't know what it is off the top of my head, but that's a thing that exists and is going to be. And yeah, this could a thing. do any amount of things, but it can also be silenced. Oh, and it can also. Yeah. This is definitely okay, so. We'll see if this has any impact. I doubt it in duels. Maybe it will destroy standard. We'll see. Thanks. Hawk Strider Rancher. This card actually seems way better than it. Than, like, oh, it's just. This reads it as seems a 3 mana 2 5. After yeah. you play a minion, give it plus 1 plus 1 and death rattle summon a 1 1 Hawk Strider. Yeah, that's, that's great. And then he token -y. Exactly. If you just and need also to in this shaman that wants to give your minions death rattles, like this oh, goes into yeah, that yeah, as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you could it'll do it twice. You play the minion, it gives it this death rattle, so you'll get two one one hawk striders off of that card, right? That's... Stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, okay, a lot of death rattles in this, mm -hmm. uh, which I guess makes sense. Um, in the next row, the only one that I. Oh, ooh, Coronor is interesting. Battlecry, freeze an enemy minion, mana through a six, silence it first for a two mana, uh, two two. Okay, mm -hmm. potential silence. Um, yeah, I'm, just... I, I have my doubts. I'll just uh, look through real quick. Yeah. Sanctum Spellbender. Amber Whelp. Four mana. Amber Whelp uh, is if a Dragon three Dex three three. Uh, some more something yeah. of uh, somewhat of a thing again. This one is amazing. Any yeah. cheap dragon works super, super well with the passives. Mm. Wonderful. Uh, it's a three mana, three, three dragon. Battle cry for holding a dragon, deal three damage. Yeah. Uh, which is nice and efficient. Uh, Sanctum Spellbind uh, Spellbender is a four mana, three, six. Whenever your opponent targets another minion with a spell, redirect it to this. Anti-buff. Um, it's not a, yeah, but like. They know it's on the board, so they're not going to do it, right? It's different than, like, yeah. Spellbender. Um, so, like, they would want to deal with this first. I don't think that... No one's getting tricked by that, right? Yeah. Um, this Crystal Broker always... This looks so nice, so fun. Uh, Mana Thirst 5, summon a random 3-cost minion. Mana Thirst 10, summon 8-cost minions. 3-mana, three 3-2. Three yeah. It's okay. never going to work, but it's really yeah. cool. I want those uh, yeah, eight drops for free. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the game, you're gonna get something big. And now this silver moon that arcanist. That's cool. There must be something you can do with this, and it works very well with the links thing. Mm -hmm. Is that, a three uh, mana two Hunter two spell do. damage plus two battle cry? Your spells can't target heroes this turn. Yeah, the the hunter one that summons those lynxes, you'll get three four fours. Um, or even the the one mana power, uh, the the one mana spell ricochet shot. You know that's not targeted. Three, yeah. Deal one damage to three random enemies. So that's a one mana deal three damage to three random enemies, mm -hmm. um, which is pretty sick uh, for four yeah, mana. This has uh, applications, turn. and it does not work in Moonfire Elise. Yes. Yeah. Maybe someone's gonna uh, try, and then <laughs> I would and, smile. Well, I'm sure they'll try, and then they'll they'll lose. Um, yeah. the, there's only two more cards that I see that are interesting that I want to talk about. This Astolor. one is Enchanter. What? Oh, Astolor and Enchanter are the two. Yeah, so Enchanter, Enchanter is a three mana, three, three. Yeah. Any of these like interesting epics, I don't think it's good. Um, I just think it's an interesting effect. Um, mm -hmm. Every uh, enemy minions take double damage during your turn. That's mm -hmm. kind of fun. It's only minions, so it's not um, not going to not gonna be that impactful, but mm -hmm. sure. So and next, Astolor. Yeah, like Astolor, yeah, I mean, he's two mana, two two with battle cry. Add the next version, Astolor the Protector to your hand, and he's mana for thirst four. So if you play him at turn four or later, or if you've rammed a bit earlier, deal two damage. So he just becomes a solid two drop. But you also get the Protector, which is a five mana, five five. And with mana thirst seven, gain five armor, which is not great. Right, that is worse than the Shield Maiden. Mm -hmm. But he also gives and you Astolor the Flamebringer. Yeah. <laughs> and the Flamebringer yeah. is an 8 mana, 8 8 with battle trying to deal 8 damage and split him between all enemies. With mana first 10, 8 more. So if you've had 10 mana, this guy's pretty nuts. 
So 16 damage and you have an 8-8 down. And I think that most of the time you're going to be playing this by by 10. It's unlikely yeah, that likely. you're going to play this on 8. Um, yeah, that's fun. Um, so this Astaloid does so many things, so much value. I guarantee this guy will be in Bone Warrior. Oh, good good idea because it's got that got that got armor the armor thing and direct damage. Yeah. And Bone Warrior wants stuff of high value. That's exactly what this is. I think it fits in yeah. that deck perfectly. That's what I thought of. Mm -hmm. And other than that, not much else. Maybe yeah. slow controlling mage. That's what I also thinking about because uh, maybe, they also always think... want armor and. And stuff yeah, like that but, burn, burn in the end, but uh, I see it less. Maybe. I see it as a bomb warrior card. Sure, it's an interesting card. This is a really interesting set. There's, I, I really like how they've got all of these little little packages uh, designed, and uh, I, I, I like all this death rattle stuff. It also seems, I don't know, fair, more fair than than some of the recent sets. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll I'll eat those words in, in a week or two. Um, yeah, like the yeah. the the. the Bone Whisper guy. It's probably yeah, gonna destroy I, everything. <laughs> that Bone Lord Frost Whisper. Thing, that. <laughs> yeah, the thing that I'm most scared of, just looking through all of this, is discard Warlock. Um, honestly, I think that that has gotten a massive buff. Um, but at least true, and then gonna, they do uh, the jailer stuff. It's so yeah, annoying. Um, yeah, I'm concerned about that. But then. You know, Hunter's got cool arcane stuff. Mage's got cool arcane stuff. I like this armor thing from Druid. And then obviously we'll just find out about Death Knights. So this is, this is stoked. I, this, is, this is cool. I'm, I'm really pumped. Uh, and yeah. any any final words that you got before uh, we, we wrap ourselves up? On no, three I want to sleep. Hours in? <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> well, this thanks is fun. So much like for... the set is going to be awesome. I'm really looking it forward is. to tomorrow's final, final reveals with the patch notes. Yeah, and then Tuesday. I expect we will get something going on in duels on Tuesday already before the expansion, as usual. Mm -hmm. And it's so, going to be fun. Presumably, by the time you all are listening to this, you'll you'll have access to most of it. So I, I hope you all are having a great time. And uh, Croak, I know it's crazy late there right now. So so why don't you go to yeah. bed and uh, uh, hit 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 end on Audacity. Send me the file, and until then, uh, we'll, we'll talk to you all later. I will. Okay. So thank you everyone for staying with us. It was a wonderful time. And uh, see you next time. I wish you a wonderful <laughs> night or day. It's not <laughs> night. We were literally 12 hours apart, right? It's noon. Exactly. Well, 11 yeah. right now, but yeah. <laughs> 11, yeah, it depends. So <laughs> yeah, bye-bye. Anyway, good night, bye-bye, man. I'll talk to you later, man. Have a good one. Ciao.